like a full-blooded Italian. <laughs> Me too. A full or And welcome back. We're going to start. Okay. Okay. There you go. And oh, welcome man. back, everyone, to another episode of Together We Roll, where a bunch Ooh. of us... Ner- uh, sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, that's the opener. Hey, <laughs> well, what I was trying to say is that a bunch of kids sit at the table and trying to act like adults, but you know. Anyway. That's every day. I'll try. Uh, before we begin, uh, we all missing one person, which is Leon, because he decided to be responsible. But you know. He had to adult. Uh, he had to adult. We gotta teach Leon to do what you need to do to be here. No, next time we're just gonna kidnap him, alright? You cool with that? I'm yeah. Absolutely cool with that. I'm gonna say no because we're on camera. No. 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 I concur. <laughs> no, kidnapping is wrong. No, I, it would make my day to see Chris with a ski mask and a uh, bunch of duct tape. <laughs> oh, I know. It was creepy last time. No, 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 no. It's, that just sounds strange. It's a black pillowcase. Black pillowcase? Black pillowcase over the head. Not a ski mask? The ski mask is too hard. That was the last campaign. Ski mask is too hard. You're talking about pillowcase. That's too hard to get off. Yeah, pillowcase on LeVon's head. Yes. Anyway, we're off topic. Moving on through. And so is my tablet. Oh, time for this mental breakdown. Okay. Um, so, Shh. recap from last time, everyone. Let's, let's get into the game. Yep, 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 yep. So, we bring ourselves to the peak of Farad Durgin, or the storm's body in Orkish. The thunders uh, uh, between the thunder paws of the orcs, as you fought and won. That's right. But before that, before the coming slaughter, as you got to the peak, their home, and seemingly to be greeted in a very strange fashion by, by Nog, the sacred wrath, and presented a choice to save your father or someone else. And unfortunately, due to your rash actions, being of someone that is not knowing how to handle a situation like this, you charged forward and unfortunately had to pay the price as your father fell, but then rose again as another person with the party, through a series of impressive charismatic skill play and persuasive actions, seemed to be able to break down this temporary truce between the orcs and the red hat. They fought, broke out, a lot of blood was shed as these undead monstrosities of bloody bones with 30 foot withering tentacles that arise from the corpse of your father and several other corpses of this vicinity. A lot of stuff happened at that point. A lot of blows were uh, were rung. And many of you were deciding, should we run, should we stay? And eventually, somehow, out of uh, just parting of the clouds, you found a perfect moment to hit everyone at once and not a single uh, member of your ally and decided to clip everything at once and did a Shadow fire, fireball, and took out a lot of the enemies. Apart to four orcs at least, there was still quite a number of leftovers of the undead entities. At the same time, the war chief took the head of the red hat. The battle uh, went south and nearly took out quite a number of you. As one of you, unfortunately, not knowing another factor of some sort of bone shaman that accompanied the Red Hag's uh, minions and ended Boadin, the dwarf that saved your brother. That's just wrong. It's so funny. You should know I'm a sick puppy. You've been playing with me for years. <laughs> Epic tragedy. As the slaughter ends, with the orcs and the Red Hag and her minions seemingly have fallen, as a pile, literally pile, of withered, mummified orcs with the statue disappearing again, with the black, now black, lightning strike frozen, go back up into the clouds as the frozen thunder wave that was uh, paused releases with a thunderous boom. <laughs> Rain commences, but not as strong as it once was, not as strong as it's uh, been as you were making it up to this point, maybe playing, who knows as the clouds around you billow and just growl with thunderous, not strikes, just rolling thunder across the distant skies, but no lightning strikes yet. 
many of you uh, come back to your consciousness, and I do need you to make a constitution saving throw, by the way, because you were poisoned. Uh, whatever that means. You were unconscious at this time. You did not go unconscious. No longer raging, unfortunately, but... Well, uh, you're unconscious, no, you're not raging. So, I'm trying to read that. Mm-hmm. Uh, is this plus Rage six? Mm, plus, plus six. So, a uh, 17. 17? Okay, no. Okay. That's for me. But as you arise from your forced slumber, as uh, uh, Nye did some nasty damage to you, you barely survived your second character. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> You and your father, <laughs> Nag is defeated by a monk, and all of you are just left, still catching your breath between water, uh, as you inhale water and air uh, infused into one. At the very tops, no smell yet, but just looking over the mummified new remains of the Thunder Pods and the corpse of many other innocent. We have not taken a short rest, and what do you guys do? Uh, what did I do? Quick, quick! I roll over, just digging my pouch. I'll be safe. And come, on, come on, you can breathe, and breathe. And I start shoving another, another. I start shoving another. I'm shoving uh, another uh, he, kit into him. Finding a kit. corpse, he, he still dressed, uh, still dressed in his bone shaman state. <laughs> Uh, his neck has been cracked and uh, not like twisted, but pushed to the side, and his head has been concaved sideways. I'm digging in my pouches. Is there another potion that, that I don't know of that was in there? Make a investigation check. Let's go find fly. Not twenty. Not twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Going through the various pouches, uh, and quite literally at this point, just dropping things on the floor. One pouch, two pouch, on your bed rolls, on your pack. Finding mean, uh, a bit of uh, rations, chain. Uh, no, you do not. You find an empty vial of the wine. Mm, that have a little confident. bit left of that strange dark red and strangely cr- uh, prismatic uh, liquid that I have. Maybe a drop of that. Yeah. Well, what have I done? You did what you thought was right. No one here can fault you for that. You know what? You realize what what this means for my brother that I that I took his life pact to Bowden. I accepted it on his behalf. Yeah. And and I killed the one that I had taken the. Hold that thought for a second. Hey Sparks, what's your plan about your dad? I'm just literally sitting over. With um, the, on my I think we should grab the important see, bodies and start making our way <laughs> down before our ride. Sparks, yes, just, yes. just to give you a little bit of what you're looking at. Um, his clothing has been torn to shreds. There's maybe a tiny bit of threads maybe around the, the belt, around the collar, and loose bits every now and again that still cling to basically a skeleton that had all its meat twisted off of it as it turned into those four 30-foot long tentacles that withered around, which you are still taking off of yourself. I'm just gonna kind of roll him up into it and take what leathers I have and just bind it so he's like what? in a sack. Did you bring any leathers? No, anything. I'm just gonna take it off. Well, hold on a second. Didn't you grab the knife that you was stabbed with? Oh. We oh, try. no. Oh, uh, no. Uh, yeah, he's still on the edge of where he tried to push you off the cliff and nearly did. It was still just stuck in him. Get some of that. Never took it out. Get your father's blood. Oh. Sonny? You take a few steps, you notice that your right foot is like a low throbbing pain. Like a null, um, a null, uh, a dull pain. Just every so subtle. My right foot? Yeah, your right foot. And lower leg. And what? And lower leg. Oh. I look. You take off your boot and everything? Yeah. Huh? Doesn't take long to take off a boot. Okay. You sit down, you find a place where there's not mummified book. As you go down to go get your dagger, uh, 
taking off your booty, it's a little sensitive and uh, it takes a few moments to do so as you're like, ow, 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 as you're taking off the boot. Uh, what kind of shoes are you wearing, if I may ask? Is it like a full-on boot or is it just travel shoes? boots? Okay, and you have a lot of pants, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's actually much easier for that. Uh, left or not, uh, it is, right now it's dark, so a lot of you are having trouble seeing, including the sparks. Uh, it can always make it late. For those that have dark vision, your heart stops for a split second as you have no skin. You have no muscle, and you're just seeing a bony foot. And for a moment, you thought, uh, can you wiggle your foot? It wiggles. Hey, poke it. Make an investigation check if you're... <laughs> I'm I'm trying to put yeah. make Bowden sit in the most comfortable laying position possible, so he doesn't look like he's been looks like Slashed. he's washed. Okay. Oh. So okay. Is <laughs> that bad? A little bit of panic is starting to bubble up in your heart. That is like this is strange. And you're trying to just kind of keep it on the down low, but uh, yeah. It's a is, it, is there like... Uh, yeah, there's an exterior to it, almost like your skin is still there, but when you touch it, it's like uh, your... It feels... Uh, your skin feels feverish to the touch. Oh, I just put the damn darkness bullshit. Put the boot back on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was that at? I... <clears throat> trying to set Bowden in a position that doesn't look like he's been in distress. Just to... Try and recover him. Can someone help me here? It's a little, we don't have that kind I'll of help magic, you. but we can bring him back, and maybe somebody else has a kind of magic to bring him back. Why would I need Trust me, I'm going to see a cleric anyway. <laughs> Why? Does uh, anyone have a way we can carry the body? I'll take it. Over your shoulder. I can carry two. Um, but we need to start heading down before oh. they get out of here with that boat. Well, wait, we should look around. Frank says we should look around first. Yeah, I'm always a good idea to check out yeah, what you, remains. Something you're good at, right? Absolutely. I will be uh, happy to check out everything. Can I? Can I know? I'll what, help you. Can I know what happened here? The last thing I remember, I was trying to save Bowen, and then, then I woke up, and and what happened after that? Oh, we killed orcs. Orcs are all dead. dead. You were in trouble, and we saved you. Actually, she saved you. After I stabbed her through the neck, but she really did the final whack whack. Ah, yes, yes. You, you all, and he, we used your pouch, and he, he used your hands yeah. to bring you back. Yeah. Why would we not? He wouldn't get away. He was not going to kill you. Huh? <clears throat> That's off the table. I, I, I beg to disagree. Know. I don't know. I think he would have killed. No, no, but we weren't going to allow that. Yeah. So, of course. So you. Healed me, stabilized me with my healing kit, and, and you. I think he did. No, you, you, it was the blue man. I believe oh, it was the blue man. Yeah. Yeah, I got your pouch, and he, he put it the was, herbs it was in your stuff. Da- Davros did, and and you killed the. Yeah, I, I I killed the big one. You don't notice that Davros is just on the corner, laying on his back. I've and never. Puts his thing two well, we all tried to save you. She just got the death blow. I was 100% sure I was about to die with right. that, if we're going to be completely yeah, honest. I'm sure that I wouldn't I was at the edge of the cliff. I uh-huh. wouldn't be here if it wasn't for any of you. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing. But no, I mean that. Uh, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for any of you. That's what being part of the party is about. That is the advantage of being in a party. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's so, get Bowden back and see if we can get a cleric to heal him. I'm going to wrap up. My so, father and all the cynicals all together, and then just take like some letters and bind it as tight as I can. So it looks very, like a body, but that's it. Yeah, it takes a bit. Can you use some orc belts? To can I tell what I'm gonna do yeah, uh, everything well, I can. Yeah, but it's a very grim state of that's almost like covering a, it up. Yeah, it, like a strange fruit roll up. You slowly get the thirty that's foot. The, <laughs> that's what you're gonna what use to stab my mother? <laughs> Seriously, it that looks about the same. Yeah, he has no okay. skin. It's just skeletal bone underneath that have bits of still remaining flesh and blood that is being washed off continuously from the human rain. Yep, yep. uh, close casket burial. So get the picture. So why did why would I need his blood? 
Um, Perhaps somebody with magic can help you out. Is there something I can roll? So, because I know why, but I don't know if he knows why. I'm just guessing. What are you trying to do, and what are you doing? Because his dad's been turned into undead. There's only two spells that I know. What are you specifically? Uh, okay. Why? Because blood. You need something of the person to resurrect somebody. That is correct. Something that's not an undead. Conan roll a either Arcana or Religion check. Oh, that's totally a ten. <laughs> <laughs> Or could I roll with religion? You can roll with religion too. Please. Okay. Well, I only got a 12. Eight. It's pretty luck. I got a 12. You guys are starting to tire, especially after the night of traveling. You guys have been pumped through your system just oh, constantly right? for the past few days. Uh, 12. Uh, you're hoping it's not one of those undead that corrupt the soul and do it internally? Yeah, it could be a bad thing. I'm just saying, maybe some of his pure blood before he was turned into the role of me. I do not know if I have access to that. The guy who stabbed him over there. Well, just broke neck or was it a slit or was it a broken neck? I thought he... I thought they just broke the neck. For who? Killed, how they killed the, uh, the two. Uh, that was just a you twist. did a clean swipe through the neck bone, if I remember correctly. Huh. You didn't cut it, you just did a clean no, spot? No, no. How did I kill him to begin? Oh, his dad was killed. Oh, yeah, no, the orcs quite literally just broke his neck. Oh, then there's no so blood there's no left. Blood left. And even then, it's raining. Oh. Yeah, no blood right. left. Initially, right. no blood left the spot. Say. It's just when his uh, innards yeah. quite literally yeah. twisted inside and erupted. So do you like saying Splitting the skin entirely. And uh, make it, make, well, actually, you're so close to the spot. You notice that on the spot that was laying, you notice that uh, his glove is just laying there. Hmm? His skin. His sleeve. His sleeve, yeah. This is on the floor in tattered pieces and most of the back on the floor. Because it just kind of erupted and did what we needed, apparently. Oh, I'm just kind of pushing it together and wrapping it. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sweet. It's a close casket burial. <laughs> just uh, a tattered. I'm well But using the various good and bad hides from the, all the orc bodies, and it's pretty easy to take it off because the necrotic damage shrunk their bodies into a mummified state, so it's pretty easy to get the, find the leathers uh, pretty fast. And, well, that's handy. Uh, make a general dex check to see how good you so I was hoping check. to help with that. Please do. With advantage. Are you leading or are you leading? Let's have you lead. Are, are I'll you, help you. Yeah, okay. That sounds better. <clears throat> that you, sounds like a better plan. I will assist you. While they're doing Just that, straight check. up deck with advantage. Let's get the bone stuff off of Bowden. Bowden? Yes. Um, Fourteen. Okay. I mean, for, you take uh, the next half an hour to do so. In order to sew everything together. With makeshift leathers and rope that you have on hand. It doesn't cover everything, but it does definitely a lot better than just straight up cold thing. So while they're doing that, I'm helping yes. him we're, search. We're both searching yeah. for items, yes. Um, Go on and roll investigation while that's happening. You notice that the body has actually been longer than itself. Chris, I'm helping you. notice that there's bone okay. protrusions the right now, uh, that human bodies just don't have. Yeah. I'm helping it. That's as far as you can. Advantage means I get to roll two days. <coughs> uh, Take the higher roll. Because you're investigating this. Sunny, uh, I, owe you an, I owe you an apology. What? Fifteen. I'm. I'm sorry. No need. We I, fought. We fought together. We fled together. When? Yes, but when we first met, did you, did you ever wonder why I didn't like you? Nope. Most people don't like me. It, it, I really. I take off my hat, or I take off my cloak. I'm like seeing the corpse. Exactly. Body. Yeah. Exactly. And you still see the bit of shadow energy that's just around his eye sockets. Have you ever heard of the Marquette? Where you go shopping? No. Well, they they might. You see, the Marquette are some dangerous folk. And they are often, no, you never know what they look like. And I was purchased as an egg from them under in the, in the dark underground places that, that evil dwells in these places here, the, the Marquette. 
they never let their faces be seen. And if they do, they often look somewhat like you. And they have long, long hoods and, and, and I thought you were trying just to get me killed. See that I was purchased as an egg and, and raised by them and uh, was essentially imprisoned by them to do their bidding. And my brother as well, and we escaped from them. And I, I thought maybe you were one of them. No, I'm his brother. We had kind of a happy childhood. We didn't do any of that stuff. Uh, no, I'm just cursed or something. From who? Don't know. I'm, as far as I know, born this way. And you, Derek. Thank you. Hazel. You're welcome. Thank you. Davros. Thank you. Respond, Davros? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. Sparks. We need to talk. And I used to call you pale skin. Well, soft skin was it? Yes, it was soft skin. But they call I still rock. cannot say your last name, but I will call you Barian. It's and raining. It's, it's raining. He'll be washed <laughs> clean. I don't know. He looks fine. <laughs> so. Oh, good. You've got his dad's blood off of him. So, no. It's, it's part of being a team. We, we all have, for lack of a better word, a backstory to our lives. But what we do now is what really counts. So let's get Bowden out of that bone disgusting <clears throat> thing. Bring him back. Maybe his he's a cleric for the church. Maybe his church will help him. And let's or, or at least see him put to rest. Correctly. And in the right way. And we'll we'll help you get back. You can explain. Uh, I I remember seeing your father be killed, but I don't. I'm assuming this, at this point I've finished kind of bagging it up. Mm -hmm. I would say, yeah. Oh, it's a dead pack. What are you planning on doing with this? It's like a giant agnes. Probably going to burn it once we're out of the ring. Yeah, I was, I was going to recommend let's not take I'm that. Not taking it home. Okay. I, I'm not, we're not sure. What to do. do we have any medallions off them or is it be like strip clean? Well, if you remember correctly, you, uh, among his remains, you found uh, a notebook, or like a flip book kind of deal. And I and held that. You didn't, you didn't open it, you said, and you put it away because mm -hmm. it's got a feeling if you open it, it's probably going to just destroy it. Uh, you found um, his reading glasses. Uh, you also found a wedding ring, and you also found a half-worked uh, of a whittling of a torso. It's like half done. The rough estimates, but not no detail. All right. Did they find anything? Ah, investigation checks. Fifteen. I was helping him. Oh, you were with advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, are you just checking everything? Because there's a lot of bodies here. Yeah. Starting with the hag and the main orc, and then working. Oh, away we'll from there. start with the lead orc and the hag, and then work our way around. Okay. Um, Based on how important they look. There's only one we didn't get to search because he decided to. Whee! One of the big ones. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find the bottom when we get body when we get to the bottom. We find the people we saved crushed by this. There was a leader and then the other ones. The yeah, it was one of the that big would be boys, ironic. One of the big guys. Yeah, the one that said honor and death, and just yeah. one that just jumped off. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. The one with the uh, um, uh, big the flag. The flag, yeah, that got burnt off and everything. Okay, so Marvel. right off the bat, with the leader of the org, Bob. Um, right off the bat, his main weapon, which was a very peculiar weapon. It's a uh, oh, you know, you know, one of those uh, curved Asian broadswords with the rings on the back. They just call it a, a nine ring, uh, it's a nine ring broadsword. I, I'm so sorry 
for those that actually know the name, I'm not going to attempt it because <laughs> I know I'm going to get eaten alive on how yeah, poor so I pronounce start it. Start Googling now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but for now, uh, for a majority of the people in America, they call it a nine ring broadsword. However, it's a it's a single edged steel curved blade with nine brass rings on the backside with interweaving four lines of uh, Nordic stylized uh, artistics, uh, uh, artistic value uh, across the both sides of the blade that create a storm and a single lightning strike mm -hmm. in, you, it's not gold, but it's some sort of brighter uh, metal that has just been etched into the blade. Is this a great sword or a it's, uh, broad sword? It's right just a broad the sword. size of it, and remember, this guy was a big boy. So it's a great sword for uh, you, it's, a broad it's, sword it's, for me. Or long sword, long sword going to a great sword. Mm. It's it's really big. It's like the size for him. What do I feel for like? you? It's this like... I cannot use. Sparks, <laughs> you take it. <laughs> I grab my hand, my dad in one hand and bow it in, kind of like on the other. Well, I'll just offer him a shield, basically. You want me to put it on your back? Shield. You can put it in the sheath. What How heavy is this thing? Uh, what sheath? It's like a set of straps on my back to hold the sword. Yeah, he's been holding a sword on his back. Yeah, it's just a, a series of uh, straps. Straps. Yeah. So it's, sure. It's It'll work. Thing, you, you, after a few moments, you eventually. I've got enough crap here. Stuff. I can make it work. Yeah. I do have a strength so of twelve. It's, it's so rather heavy. Should be able to. I'll look at it when we're done. That is a big sword. Yeah. Amongst his body, you find um, yes, a we're bag good. of some sort of powder inside of it. it. It wiggles, and you can feel like sand inside of it. Um, mm. You find a tooth necklace. Mm. Uh, you find. So, it's human teeth? That? Roll of medicine. Well, I don't know. Roll of medicine. Uh, roll well, medicine. you would. Uh, I did not think so. No, they're not human teeth. They're more say. like. They're long, like almost. Okay, so they're absolutely they're not. They're not human teeth. Okay. Human I don't want to roll medicine because I've got a negative one for medicine. <laughs> what do I have? Medicine? Uh, no, a medic negative that hides a. Uh, you Wait. find another horn on his body. Horn? Is like it the, horn uh, like the one that... Very yeah. similar in style, yes. Aha! Uh -huh. You're writing all this down, right? I will hand that to you. And... What you can presume, or I guess that is a trophy, it's uh, a... Uh, thing, uh, basically a crown that goes on top of a uh, armored helmet that is of a series of feathers and uh, furs. Make it uh, style up. Uh, uh, red, blues, and purples. For the fur crown? Mm hmm. That is not my stack. Yeah. It's designed so that if you put we'll it on your head, we'll it would make a uh, almost like a mohawk kind of deal and it goes into a mane. Oh, mm -hmm. I want to check that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not exactly Later. the smallest thing, but it's definitely miniature. Not meant for polar individuals. Is that all we find, basically? No money? For no. on a uh, knob? Yes, oh, uh, I would say if you're going through all the bodies, mm -hmm. uh, I would say you get we roughly 107 there. worth of gold. I'm sorry? Uh, 107 worth of gold pieces uh, well, of various, well. you know, shiny bits. Good. Maybe we can buy him some more medicine stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, again, gold various gold flags. Huh? We need it. You find broken blades. And they, a lot of them have a lot of trophies various, that have no value. Various, okay. various flags. Yeah, various flags. <laughs> what about the hag? I'm ripping off the flag pieces. That is not your token. Well, no, they, they were already part of the flag and they've been ripped off. Ah. They were keeping it inside of uh, pouches, like oh. some sort of trophy. Like, oh. ah, I attacked these blokes. I'm still alive. Ah. What about the hag? The hag. Uh, just give him the egg. Hey, why why do you do that? Egg. What what is it, Sonny? I want you to think about something. He was being controlled. Bowden was being controlled, like like they were controlling downstairs. I don't know what your life debt thing means, and I'm not even this isn't a joke. I'm, I I really don't know what it means. But perhaps he was a cleric of uh, a good god, right? And he was being manipulated for evil. You may have saved, maybe not his life, but I'm fairly certain you saved his soul. And to a cleric, that may be far more important. Something to consider on our way home. Something to consider. 
I, I don't think that way. So, uh, but I but I understand what you mean. And maybe we'll get a birth record. Uh, it's it's I wouldn't have thought. It's very expensive. Uh, it doesn't. It will it will it will have to uh, it will have to do for now. You know, one of these days I'm going to just destroy that train because that was a good scene. Well, anyway, it's not, I was trying. It's to, not that loud. It's not I, that loud. To us, I, it's I was trying to persuade him to cheer up a little bit because it's all, entirely up to him if he wants to be. All things friend. considered, had he been made to serve like this, it would have been an affront to his God. I'm fairly certain, and probably fate worse than death. Couldn't make an investigation check since you're over his body. And whoever's searching the hag... Great, investigation, because because intelligence is my thing. Orcs, and then, because well, there's a lot of bodies. <laughs> we were supposed to be helping take his book. I was helping him. You, uh, he, he was. He was helping, okay, he was actually helping me sure. prep the body. If you want to roll individual, that's fine. Or if you want to have one roll, better. Uh, you roll, I'm not... You can roll an advantage, because I'm nice. not rolling an advantage with that. Again? <laughs> for investigation. Wow. 18. 18? Okay. Um... Who's uh, doing the hack? Damn, yeah, yeah. poor choice of words. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that, that would have been Leon. Yeah. 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 We're double teaming uh, the hack. Uh, <laughs> no, he was the one with the statue thing. It's not a, oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. The statue you still have not found and you have not dealt with it. The statue disappeared. It disappeared. It disappeared yeah. After yeah, we haven't found it since. And, and guess what? I bet you none of us are looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> that was just definitely not looking for yeah, it. Yeah, we're still like... Punching but, it off yeah, the side it, of yeah. So for the Bone Shaman, uh, Bowden, uh, you find a bone rattle, you notice that he's on stilts a little bit to make him taller, yeah. and his suit is in, uh, layered so that it makes him look more bulky and more uh, even based on the height increase. It's, you can guess it's probably a orc thing, they don't like small people. Mm. Anything worth Taking with us? Uh, you find a clay jug uh, containing a dark liquid. And it's like a handmade uh, clay jug. And mm. it has a small little leather top to it. But you slosh it around, and there's something to slosh it inside. Uh, if you remember correctly, it was he was drinking out of it and spitting a dark liquid onto the works. Okay, well, uh, that You find a strange, like, uh, one inch diameter by one inch thick, heavy piece of material of some sort of a shiny metal. Do you have any metal on me? Do I have any metal on me? Yes. Strange question. Uh, Non-gold metal, let me see. I have gold. I have my sword. I have my, my, my okay. great And you guys sword. are helping each other out. As soon as you bring it out, your hand immediately to make a strength saving throw. As it comes over and sees, what's that? <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Onto his uh, uh, great sword. It's a magnet. I... Lockstone, yes. What? Is this? It's a one inch by. It's your. Uh, uh, I, I recognize that. I know, but. Bowden wood. Right? All right. Is oh. it the same metal that I'm was mining as that? No. Okay. Huh. Yours had more of a yellow tint to it. Okay. This is more shiny and silver. Okay. Apparently, it likes your sword. Lockstone. Lockstone meaning magnet. Yeah, I try and pull it out. Oh. Need a strength check. Keep it away from sparks. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's a lockstone. All right. We're just um, having flashbacks to Futurama <laughs> with the robot. Get it away from me! So that's just strength check, strength check. <laughs> uh, 22. 22? You take a half time and just, you can feel your muscles straining over its, uh, 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 wow. Over it's the, strong. Yeah, it's a very strong one. And eventually, Thunk! And you uh, you get a good uh, 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 foot away before uh, it actually stops magnetizing towards it. All right, well, that's yeah. something we might be able to do something with. Yeah, and then you keep it away from sparks. <clears throat> or, but we know yeah. where it is. And or, you, know, you, you also find a smith hammer. Uh, what looks to be a basic smithy hammer. It's pretty hefty, uh, but he's a dwarf. He probably use that a lot. Uh, but what catches your eye is that on either side it has what you guess is a family crest. It's a heavy smithing hammer with three uh, bending lines. No color to it, just etched into it. Fine line, but you know. 
uh, that go from the top and bottom, one, two, and three, with uh, three greater arches, but all seem to go into the top and bottom. Anything else? Uh, the last thing you uh, find. Does anyone know religion or whatever? Maybe that'll identify. This would be Maybe more like history. Some, oh, is this history? Is, right. This is a dwarven. Natural 20. Natural 20? 21. Uh, um, 26. Yeah, 26. I'm going to have to look up the name myself. I forgot myself because this is involving Bowden's backstory. Uh, but yeah, and I have to act like I don't know what it is. So you say <laughs> some sort of dwarven name. Uh, well, for now, and I'll get the name later. But yeah, these people are a small clan. Uh, that started up in a uh, not in this uh, not in the uh, not in the Velocian Empire somewhere okay. off in the in the Sh uh, Shadow Peaks in the Dwarven uh, um, uh, in the Dwarven Kingdoms and it's a small little out of the way and very hard to get to because of its rocky uh, uh, rock, uh, rock side Ma uh, is a uh, family that mines stone lock stones but a specific type of lock stone that, if forged correctly, is able to uh, make uh, what they call rare earth magnets. And I do apologize, mm -hmm. I have to look up the actual name of it. Oh, well, yeah. well, just so don't be McShorty Pants. It's, it's from the dwarves who mine your load lock load magnet thing. Here. Uh, it, it, mm -mm. <laughs> it, does, how is, I can't swing my sword with this. Does it attract the magnet? This is a bad time for me to look forward. It would be. The, the hammer and the magnet. No, not. Hey, look at this. Does this make specifically for that? It doesn't stick. Mm, doesn't, uh, da, 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 da. doesn't stick to my sword either. It doesn't stick to the magnet. Mm. Lock, lock stone. Hmm. Well, there you have it. We Interesting. Have, well, we will. Our, it's the Quran fan. K U R A N fan. Quran. I hear they write great books. And the area that it's from is <laughs> settled. And with the natural yes. one, you know the reason why it's called Saddle Park is because if you ride in by a horse, the, uh, the rash that you get is called Shadow, uh, Saddle Park because it's just so fucking bumpy. So you use yeah, it. It's walk. a place you walk into. Yeah. It's not a place that you want to walk into. You don't. You don't it's, it's such a so, such a rocky terrain. You can't even. Move. Horses are uh, really difficult. So you come in on like mountain goat and things right. like that. It's a mountain. Sounds wonderful. wonderful. <laughs> now this is this is me sharing, not okay. Eck, because Eck doesn't know. So are you a metalsmith? A couple of things so that you get the keyboard. I am not <laughs> a metalsmith. No. Anybody here? I work with leather. Huh? It seems that if it works, doesn't do the stone thing. This could be valuable. So. I wonder. It, it 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 probably is valuable. All right, so let's let's keep that. What'd you guys find on the hang? Are we done with the boat? Uh, no. The last thing Sorry, you did, fourteen, because you rolled so high, yeah. is that you find another you roll? voodoo doll with uh, bone so teeth and yes. what looks to be black, uh, 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 maybe stone you bits, just needles no. that yeah. are making a weird crooked smile. Oh, voodoo doll. That has a ponytail made out of some sort of fur that is also holding it together on the back of its head. Does this look like anybody we know? We should probably burn that. We didn't see any of the orcs. Uh, no. The main, uh, the uh, dog. Uh, uh, yeah. Nog, Nog didn't he was bold. That could end poorly for somebody. Let's say the voodoo doll is not in our enemy, but we light it on fire. I mean, it doesn't take a mage to figure out what could go wrong there. Let's just stick it in the bag for now. Yeah. I would prefer just to leave it here. We should take Why it. Why should we mess with any of this stuff? We should take it back to town and give it to somebody who knows how to dispose of it properly so it doesn't hurt somebody. Okay, fair enough. Because leaving it here and then the puddle gets all done up and then somebody drowns. It's no. <laughs> They're in the, like, the, the far uh, east desert, and they're just drowning. They're well, it's not the like there's a, a lot of shortages of puddles in this area. <laughs> right, that's what we're thinking about the city. What'd you find on the hag? Absolutely nothing. What? What'd you roll for an investigation? Five. <laughs> uh, Absolutely nothing. Well, as you start going through, uh, the first thing... <laughs> well, 
Yeah, hold on, hold on, stop. <laughs> Pieces flying all over the place. Going through Shit. its frail body and withered body because it did take necrotic damage before it perished. Uh, you notice that the thing that ca- catches your attention immediately is that it has one jagged, uh, or so several jacks of uh, where you get a nod hit across the shoulder and broke through the cra- uh, cravicle and into the chest and kind of uh, bowed off the rib cage and onto the other couple that it didn't completely break through. And it's just leaving the uh, top of the torso completely just opened up. And you notice a clean cut across the neck. About here. The hag is the thing I'm most interested in. Mm-hmm. So I'll walk over and say, you didn't fight it? Absolutely not. But I suggest we finish the job and cut the head totally off. I don't want this the head is missing. thing coming back. Yeah. Yeah. The, the head. head is missing. Problem solved. There's a clean cut. Head's gone. You oh, don't see the okay. head. But I'm sorry. I was under the impression it was still attached to something. No. Right? Yeah. There's two no. cuts. Now I didn't the head finish it, but something here, else cut it. There's head another off. cut that's across the uh, entire Freaking area, statue. but it has not completely uh, cut through yet. Okay. But something else came along. But there's one clean and one very jagged. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take a look because that hag's gotta have something. No, no, no. big guy took it. There we go. No, uh, 19. Response on the speaker, so I Sorry? I, I walk over because that hag's gotta have something. So, what are you looking for? Uh, are you just inspecting your body and something like that? Anything that we could use. Okay. Uh, going through, and for the first thing that goes off your head, head is that for a hag, it's not terribly ugly. I mean, I mean, you can definitely see, well, yeah, uh, you can definitely see why people uh, looked at this and said that's a red-skinned elf. Oh, okay. Because from a distance, they don't have like overbearing properties of a hag. Yes, their fingers are a tiny too long. Yes, they uh, they have a slight hump, but it's like very, very minor. It's like the normal oh. traditional hag look has been reduced greatly. It's a baby hag. Definitely not a big hag. She is full and returned. No, I okay. meant like she hasn't gotten like all the super hag powers. She's not a bucket of ugly yet. Yeah. She's not a bucket of ugly. Yeah. Which or she's is strange. But you've never seen a red, red hag before. She's not a, this is what they look like. I, I've never For seen a For the tattered before. leather dress that she's wearing, it looks fairly uh, tight to her. Uh, along, uh, you find, uh, a, well, the first thing you find is a necklace of severed human orc elf ears of just necklaces. You, uh, you find a bag of uh, some sort of liquid, thick liquid inside, a leather bag okay. made from a dark leather. Uh, the, the, the you find another blinking eye. <laughs> you hear that? Jeez. Good riddance. Uh, you find a uh, very similar blood, uh, blood-soaked dagger, or dagger, a bone blade. Ugh, I can't speak today. Uh, that bone blade with the um, dark maroon glass blade. That's very curved, but this one has almost like a fish hook at the end of it. Oh, like a gunny knife. You find some beads that go around the wrist, and eat with each bead, it's like, what, uh, what languages do you read? I read uh, where, uh, abyssal, common, draconic, and elvish. Okay, it's not abyssal, but you know it's some sort of uh, well, it's infernal. It's infernal. Yeah, it's like knowing Chinese and Japanese, like like oh, it's Japanese. It's like no, that's Chinese. Yeah. It's, it's one of those kind of situations. Um, but you know it's to be infernal, and it has basic symbols around each beat. And there's like three of these that she was wearing. Um, Three bracelets? Th- yes, three bracelets. Okay. Uh, you find black feathers that have been treated rather well, but as soon as you bring it out of the rain, they start to get bombarded by the, uh, by the rain itself. Uh, you find a mirror. Uh, you start to pick up a mirror and stuff like that. You see a bit of reflection on you, and it's like, a, well, as soon as the water hits, it's pretty much impossible to see it. A jar with a single over uh, overweighted toad to the point that it can't turn and its face is facing the front of it. And it's just So it's it's 
this toad as big as the jar. The right? toad is as big as the jar. It's crammed in there and it's to alive. the point that it can't turn at all except for a tail. With his big bonus I, I can't eyes. You. you have no light, so you can't really tell the, anything else. What do you want me to do, eat it? No. Set it free. <laughs> Ouch. Do you have the uh, silver, uh, uh, a sliver I, uh, of a it, small sliver of glass vial it, it can't that has speak some off, sort though. of thick, no, like milky gray liquid inside. I, I speak in aquan to the toad. <laughs> See? Are you okay? Was that a response in aquan no. or not? That's all it says. You can't speak. Right. Uh, you can speak Aquan, but you can't really... I didn't know if it could speak Aquan. I know. I was a long shot. I figured I'd try. Ask it to it, blink maybe twice it's not a toad, you. you know what I mean? That's what, what? Ask it to blink twice if it understands you. <laughs> I did not think it's smart. Uh, can I roll religion to Why do see I have I... a toad job? This is not really religion. This is Well, more... just because... I, okay, well, I knew history, about the coven of history, the rotting uh, hand. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's not really religion. Okay. We're rolling it's either religion. history or arcana for the nature of how hags cast things and what they make, which you already know based off the other roll. It's fucking weird. Is it arcana? Either arcana or history. Uh, are, you, are you proficient in arcana? You would I'm not be able to roll I'm proficient in neither. Sonny, I am proficient in arcana. You would not be able to roll for this. I was going to roll off and I assist her. You cannot assist her. Oh, I'll call you. That is a solid 10. It's a total number card. You know that in the work, uh, terms of casting, hands are very unique in nature. And they use uh, natural objects, which is what this is. So this is some sort of maybe casting device or... Focus item. Maybe, maybe focus item. It could be a trap. It could be right this for a grenade and you just chuck it in and something happens. You don't know. Uh, it could be a hundred foot but we know that there's something with it, and that toad doesn't look good. Well, you're a human. You can't see right now. But you, based on the sound, it's making weird sounds. The orcs didn't have any sort of, like, torches or anything set up? As you look around in the rain and the rolling thunder, I think we no. should let it go. I think we should let it go. Seeing the bulbous eyes just twitch in the darkness. We should take it back and let, like, a real mage look at it or something. What if it's a person that she turned into a toad? That's it's right. True. We could be saving it. It could be a prince. But we should That's right. That Maybe Hazel gives it and make it turn into a prince. Or not. I'm walking. Uh-huh. <laughs> is, it, is it a boy or a girl toad? Nature check. <laughs> and not an animal handling? It's Are you gonna handle so, it? so you're looking like this under the jar? Is oh, that it? Oh, that's nature too. That's right, I played in the fourth. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know why a fifteen is funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's very funny. <laughs> I'm walking. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Uh, 15? Uh, how do you see, uh, tell the sex of a, of a toad? Very carefully. <laughs> Internal. But my character knows. Yeah. He can't see it. Male? Okay. Maybe? Then yes, it, it needs to be a, a, a woman to kiss it because it's a male toad. Alright then. Anything else on the hands? Like I said. Uh, that's as far as you can tell. Uh, I do not think she likes that idea. Okay. But I don't so think she likes that Alright. No, that is everything. However, as your guys are going through this, the rolling thunder around you, you do have two people that you saved. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're just kind of waiting patiently on the sidelines as they're still waterlogged of a, uh, what looks to be a young female dwarf that has natural curly hair, but it's just waterlogged right now. So it's a, a gray hair of some sort. There's no light, so anyway. But she has a heavy freckled face, very wide cheek. And she's just kind of just ha- has her arms crossed on what used to be a nice earthy dress, uh, all, uh, and that has just been ruined. So, and at the same time, there's a, a, a middle-aged human that has a heavily poured face uh, and very and has a very long face, and he seems to be 
Bull Stock, for what he is, and he is, he's wearing an apron, uh, apron and basic pants and shirt. Oh, I'm, oh, go ahead. I'm using my shield over top to put my father and Odin. Okay, so that's two people that you're holding. I'm gonna need you to make a strength check. Is that like 200 pounds? Uh, the dwarf well, your father was pretty light, initially. Do we want to take Bowden? The Maybe. dwarf was not. Do we want to or not? The dwarf was... Yeah. Had, yeah. If you remember correctly, the dwarf had a very healthy, happy Dude. state. Okay. <laughs> we might want to drag them on the well, shield instead. That, I, I look at people. I'm guessing you didn't run the same gauntlet we ran to get up here. Is there a quicker way down? They both just kind of look at each other and just uh, the dwarf, uh, the female dwarf looks back to you with a, almost a fierce and intense amount in her eyes as she takes her hair and just parts it so that she can see. Uh, I'm just going to just get me the fuck out of here. I don't know how to get down here. The Lord's probably carried him up for all we know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the problem. Yes, yes. So we either so we gotta go back the down. way we came. Oh. I mean, Which at least this time we won't have going? people firing arrows at us. Yes, but we have to go down into that the den where there's those. I, I actually asked that like, Which way did the direwolves go? I, she just points downward. Like, the way they went I, 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 I look the way they went. But we can still evil. look around to see if we can find a different way down or maybe a trap door or something. Can we get some light here, Derek? Sure! You but there'll be light! Go. What do you cast light on? I will cast it on. Let's see. What's a good item? What's a good item? That ugly statue. Oh wait. No. Not my leg. You cast it on me, by all means. Well, no, because we can't take your leg off and like put it somewhere. This yes, rock. Yes, actually, look. You want oh, no. Flynn no. Out of light up? <laughs> no. Oh, sure. Sure. This rock. Frank, check. Flynn is now a oh. light rock. Okay. You're all holding yeah. for now. He's still heavy. They're heavy. I mean, giving off light. Oh yeah. So. Sun has uh, been given light. Okay. Yes. So okay, everything lights up. Well, designated speaking. light source. <clears throat> well, I, I, I don't want to rain on everybody's let's go down parade, but we need to take like an hour and we need to rest. Not yeah. to interrupt anything. And she's screaming over the thund- uh, rolling thunder. No lightning strikes yet. Yeah. yeah. Inside means we have to run the gauntlet, and we took damage running the gauntlet. Because, Even if people because there were shooting snow, lights. People fell, and Got her. Anyway, uh, okay. Not to interrupt anything, but uh, my name is Dolonio Sia, uh, Coin Guru. Have you seen my brother? Is he still alive? We found one of the dwarf. Clerk? No. There was another dwarf in the cave down below. He was still chasing. Well, then it was probably my brother, wasn't it? Possibly. I don't think, did he give us his name? Anyway, there's a couple of more. There's a couple more rooms before they draw this out. There's one uh, near the waterfall, if I remember correctly. The one that, uh, well, I was mindful of that at the time, but there was, what I remember is people, uh, well, I would assume orcs, maybe, that were making weird gurgling sound. A lot of water swirling, and also clanging, and something very deep voice, screaming in the language I did not know. Honestly, I, well, I'm clean now, but I was going to say when I need new pants, but, uh, all right. She's we'll just take a rest. Are we able to find some sort of solace from the rain where we're at? Yes, by getting inside or going again uh, out of the storm. Honestly, I'm already very grateful. And uh, if you get me home, I'll make sure that you're it's worth your while. We will get you. Don't home. worry, we're, we're gonna make it. We're gonna get everybody home. Thank Please. you very much. Are there cloaks on these? Do these orcs have cloaks and stuff? Actually, you did find one more uh, cloak of the direwolves. Uh, you did find a very similar uh, to the dark. So he can keep it so up to ten. Yeah, so you have two of them, but that's his only for as far as And there's pillars, time. right? Yes, there are pillars. Oh, well, there we go. We we tie the two. We, we put them together in some way. I'm sure we have plenty of things to do that. And hook it to him, and we have a spot, and then we have ten feet of no water. Because I go for at least an hour. Okay. Because four of us, if they stub their toes, are dying. Yeah. <laughs> so are you taking or, a short or, rest? Or or for me, I short rest. Short. short. Yeah, well, for me, short. I stub a peg leg. You know. get a oh, that one should be fine. You stub your peg leg and get a splinter. <laughs> that is true. It is big enough. Everybody, okay, into the I would say, using one of the pylons, 
uh, uh, practicing uh, rock with Nordic uh, 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 Nordic uh, writing and also art artistic uh, chiseling into the actual heavily eroded but still very there. You make a somewhat decent tent for plus two. I would say with two direwolf clubs and plus him using his shield and everything, the bodies would have to wait outside. That, that's not They're not going to complain. Better. They're not going to complain, but I'm just letting you know about the situation. Uh, but you do manage to get out of the ele elements as it has gotten a little cold and being on the peak. Um, and I drive there's not a lot of wind, but just enough something. to bring a chill to the bottom. Of course. Yeah. I drive by off with the tricky Tommy. Ah! How do you cast this? By rubbing flan on them to get the water off. Like a giant eraser, Flan just uh, just wax on and wax off the water and grime off of those that do that. Which is everyone, I presume? Okay. You make it a little bit more comfortable. So it's not wet where we're at, right? Uh, it's drier. And water is... Okay. Shape water is... We're still having water drip from yeah, bits of holes from the gravel floors that are above you. Yeah. And uh, various cracks that you're not able to fully... Uh, so you're drier, still better. but you're not 100% dry. Hmm. For an hour or more. For an hour or more. But so you're taking a short rest. We had a, we, somebody had a cooking kit, right? <clears throat> yeah. Can I, do you have a pot? I guess with the cooking kit, you would have a basic I hold the pot outside. You have a little water. Warm coffee. You and brown. brown. And brown. Here we go. Anybody want some warm coffee? So to make it, uh, I, I, warm, I will, I will taste. To make it uh, taste like coffee is a second, which I is get fine. Two, and he yeah. turns it brown. He turns it brown by putting his finger in and having black ink essentially and just squirt out of your finger. Lovely. I uh, and I shake flan and look, um, <laughs> add marshmallows. Pour some in so there. And you add what? For my second effect, marshmallows. Marshmallows and coffee. Just all like pouring. It doesn't like drinking out of the pot. Oh, fine. Marshmallows. It marshmallows and so, coffee. No, it doesn't just take things off, but I will say... Marshmallow flavor. You uh, press a presentation on it, and there's like small little, as you uh, put images on top of the surface of water, that kind of sit there for a half second before just... Perfect. Being washed away. Pour it for each person. For, for again, half uh, caffeinated coffee. I'm, and then I will take my hit ice, please. And I'm going to attempt to light a cigar. The one is, uh, it takes it. Goes, hey, thank you. I'm going to attempt to light a cigar. Does anyone does anyone mind this? It passes around. Does did anyone mind the this oh, weed yes. that I do? Are you gonna share? Sure. <laughs> it's about this big around. That's what she said. Whatever. Pass. It's a strange taste. Oh, suck your knife, right? Uh, taking a puff of the oh, cigar that you had you, Sonny, it yeah. is a strange taste. It's definitely not normal cigar tobacco. Is it warm? Yes, it's warm. Then uh, give it a shot. Oh, oh yeah, that's some good stuff. I hand it back. To you. Much more. I feel I feel better. So we had. Some I want to do some hit dice as well. Um, so everyone, you finish a short rest. Okay. Uh, for a short rest, you get your key point back. Yay! Uh, take what you need for a short rest, roll the number of hit dice that you want. Uh, being fifth level now, everyone's oh, fifth level, nice. you'll be, you can roll up to 5D of your uh, level. Uh, I'm going to be using four, all of them. D8, 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 D10, D10, oh sorry, D6. D6. Sorry. Sucks to be me. Okay. <laughs> so, do what you need. Keep track of how many you spend. I'm going to have to use them all. I have the sheet with my hit point total in the other room. Ah! Yep. We'll get it. Yep. Oh, well, that sucked. It sometimes does. Bigger dice doesn't mean bigger amount. But uh, Delorne, you have to send that after sending it for a little bit. Uh, Got my head I'm not, not trying to pester you and everything, I just want to know what is right. going on. Uh, thank you. Uh, what should I call you? Oh, coffee? 
Oh, okay, coffee. Thank you. The caffeinated. So, uh, coffee. Uh, what did you <laughs> Where is my brother? Where'd he go? He is down there, there's in the a cave. boat downstairs. They're heading towards that and mm-hmm. and might be leaving already. Oh, so they left me. Probably. Ah, that asshole. Well, well um, he, he should be prepping the boat. Hopefully, if we get down there. I, I would be very surprised. Knowing my brother, he's around. not going to last. You know, he's not going to wait five minutes. He, he's gone. I we're would be very surprised if he could move the boat. Yeah, we're on. fast an hour. All right. Maybe <laughs> Did he didn't say make. he was taking the other people down with it? They might have gotten lost. Yeah, they could have gotten lost. Again, I would be very surprised if he could move the no, boat. No, he's very good and uh, decently clever when it comes to navigating the unknown. However, he's an asshole, and he's a lying prick, and also the ages of 12. Uh, like don't I, trust him for anything. He's like, trying to kill me before he was trying to get ahead of the family. Like a quad or a quad waffle? A quad waffle. Okay. Yeah. That's I like waffles. Okay, so you don't like this waffle. Okay. By any chance, do you, I speak to her in Dwarven? By any chance, do you know the, the clan <laughs> Grinstone? Grinstone? You guys are very Grinstone. Okay, waffles are great. Oh, okay, that makes a difference. Grinstone. She. Did you say that? Did you say that guys. loud for us to hear? I or? said it in Dwarven. That's fine. He speaks Dwarven. He does? No, I don't. Oh, I thought you did. <laughs> no, no, he's no, no, that was the other oh. character, the dwarf. No, no, he speaks Arthur. That's the dead yeah. one. Yeah, that's oh. the dead one. That's the one that's currently. Salt the wound. Salt the wound. Lemon, lemon, lemon. Hey! Hold on, stuff boxing. Oh, wait. Back, 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 back. Stop. Silence! But you speaking of dwarvish. Uh, she stops for what she was ordering. Uh, Yes, actually I do. However, I will not get that information until we get back home. Please understand that I am an information I'm an auditor and I make sure I get proper Very good. before receiving. I take a small bow. Very good, my lady. Very good. Very good. Thank you. No. I will always just let my No. She realizes that she's still exposed for the most part and just kind of Can I find anything oh. that might work off I of give her the, the top half of my rock man. Costume, who she's exposed. Rockman costume? That I've been wearing this entire day. Yep. So you just quite literally just take a, quite literally like three, four layers of just dirt and just rip it off the backside and just hold it in front of you. No, it was, it was a it's costume. Cloth. It's costume. It's a costume. Yeah, I know. You quite literally rip it off as the rest of it falls off uh, for the most part. And she just gives you the strangest look as you just hold uh, basically the back part of what this costume used to be. You could borrow it. She takes one hand and grabs it and just puts it on. And which spell is this again? It's not. It's a Rockman costume. Yeah. It's actually He's been it's wearing the Rockman costume. costume. Oh, so to make him look like a rock. Oh, it's camouflage. Right. I forgot about this costume. The cam- yeah. Yeah. camouflage is for my, it's for my show. Okay. I, yeah, I forgot about this. It's quite literally a costume that is uh, just with uh, sewn in with small uh, bits of rock. Right? Well, to make me look like a rock man. It's not made of rock. It's an elemental outfit. It's an elemental outfit. It's costume. Mm-hmm. She just takes so it. It's up. painted fabric and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not painted anymore. Uh, she kind of tries to put it on real quick and realizes it ain't white enough. So she just takes the top part and wraps her down. Thank you. You're welcome. You don't need to be so modest. So as usual, I took a man, but I'm not going to go back into town and looking like I'm just getting out of the courthouse. Well, this is going to be a fun ride home. <laughs> I hope it. so. Uh, I hope so. I believe we should get going. Yeah, we, 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 I feel better. I feel a little I, bit better. I, I feel I, better. I, Wait, before we go, one more. Well, I'm not like putting it out. I'm not going to waste it. We're not out story. of it yet. We're I know, I know. I, I will say at the end of this conversation, the hour has passed. Okay. And depending on how much you puff, I would say that an hour will go by. I think oh, it's, uh, yeah. It's, yeah. Well, yeah. two people going with a, an hour cigar is gone. So We need more of those. Yes, we do. I need more. I'm I'm, I'm nearly out of kits to, to heal. Yeah, it. no, we got to definitely. It's like I only have, I only have two points. left. Well, is and unless much? we... I can't see, so... Neither can you. My head is always outside of this. Make a disadvantage perception. Watch it be a donut when he's... He does have a flamlight, though. That's actually not bad. I mean... There is light. 
Flam. is... That's right. That's going to be a 13 at disadvantage. It's not bad. With light. With light. Oh, there is flam. light. Flam's lit up. Yeah, that's right. We have a flam light. Okay, and then roll 19. straight up. Just straight up. 19, then. No, okay. just roll again and straight up. Because that would have been advantage. 19. <laughs> I forgot uh, flam was lit up. White. Why are you rolling twice? Oh, you said white. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be eight. Eight. So even worse. <laughs> even worse than the worst thing that just happened. Well, if we you are clueless. Or something like that, I know. Yeah, it's that's fine. Even though that was the one that rolled first, it was the other one was cocked, and I rerolled the other one. Mm-hmm. I, you rolled two dice. I said disadvantage. You can't take the higher one after I said all the straight. That's the first one I rolled though. But <laughs> I'll say, say ten. How's that? I want to recount. Ten. Yeah. Don't He's being. Yes. Don't worry. There's plenty of nightmares out there. Yes, so it's better course. if you don't see them. But besides, we're on top of the hill. What could possibly happen to us? Hill. What could possibly go wrong? If no one else can get up to us. That's uh, right. Uh, we had a hard. We had a hard enough time getting Chris, up here ourselves. <laughs> you just said magical word. Anyway, but what could possibly go wrong? Exactly. There are just some sentences you just with the thund- a rolling time. thunder. No lightning strikes. Which is very odd because every time, uh, ever since you've been here, there was nothing but lightning strikes. Lightning strikes, lightning strikes, and those booms to the point your ears bleed. Or for you, where you can't hear anything as you just hear the high pitch right. in your ears. Tinnitus. At least all that Jump lightning stuff. Yeah. Uh, especially when the uh, orcs used the. Uh, anyway. With, between the thunderous rolling thunder, listening to the darkness, you do hear buzzing. Of not a lot, a lot of flies, but every now and again, like flying goes by your ears. Blasted. Probably, Probably loud clanging sounds. Clang! Far in the distance. Not sure where it's coming from, but just perpetual. Far in the distance, not very loud. Clang! Clang! Okay, time to go. In the distance. Followed by howling noises from the dialogues. That does not sound good. And your eyes go to pillar to pillar, uh, looking at very dull rooms that are outside the radius of the light. So it's the far ones on the opposite side of the, uh, of the peak. And you see the rooms of the Nordic origins uh, slightly lit up with yellow, or more blue with a slight yellow tint to it just lightly glowing as your eyes lay upon the pylon. Wasn't that tall a moment ago? As you see a shadow just no. strange movement as the whole thing almost like a, just became a giant jelly. As you see something hanging at the center of it. But like... <laughs> Great. <laughs> Only one of three sheep. <laughs> Didn't get them all. There's multiple. There's more. Mm-hmm. There's multiple. It was a coven, so that would be more. There were multiple. All Great. of you here. We never found the head. All of you here. What's his name? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's so what's left. Echoing. And from the distance, from the darkness. Just a moment. Would you like payment for what you've done? And who are you? It's the head. I'm the red bitch. <laughs> and you hear scuttling. We didn't do this for payment. No, thank you. Oh. Well, I guess one of you has. Well, I feel like if you accept payment, it's Mary the death. arrogant. At your service, if you wish. Right. Again, you don't see it. Someone asked, what is your name? Who was it? Mm-hmm. It wasn't me. Dirk. Ah, oh. oh, crap. <laughs> 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 Though, now that you're listening, those, not you, make a perception check. At disadvantage, uh, no, straight up because there is the light, if you recast it again. 
Wait, why would he have to recast? Because it's been an hour. Oh. Sure. Yeah. It's on my shield. So as Flan starts to on the shield, a bit, and then suddenly we... Uh, and Keep it on Flan or put it on the shield? What do you want? Keep it on Flan. On Flan. Okay, back on Flan. So just straight up then? It's a rock of light. That's right. Straight up. Yeah, straight up. It's a heavy rock of light. For fuck's sake. Yeah, 16. Sounds like a brother. Yeah, but my next minute. Okay, never mind. Perception makes it a 16. Victory, right? Perception. It's victory. Yeah, that's, seven, that's a good way of looking at Eight. With my plus six. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do you want per- perception? No. Oh, no. Oh, we're not going? Okay, don't worry about it. First one in dice. Seventeen. Tonight. 17? I, I did not understand 16. that you 16. were asking everybody to roll. Oh, yeah, yeah, Because you failed it already, unfortunately. <laughs> perception? No. Nope. That's the first one uh, <laughs> tonight. I roll a straight nope, up eight. That's a one. <laughs> <laughs> um... I've got something Natural stuck. Natural one, yeah. You swallow the end bit of your uh, cigar as you hear that. <laughs> <laughs> it was still wet and everything. Patting on the shell. <laughs> I shouldn't have tried to smoke the stubby. <laughs> the idea is to well, breathe it, not really eat it. Kill you. For a 17, because she rolled a 2, <laughs> you barely see it. At the very other, uh, other side of... Outside of the light, uh, in the corner at the very base of one of the uh, pylons, you see not a body, but a figure that is almost uh, dome-like shaped, but very fluid in nature, as you see the hag's hair acting as the body. And you see it acting almost as a dome shape, uh, as you see many, many, many different lines of the strands of the hair giving a uh, partial view into the uh, center part of it where you see the hag's head, no color and very distorted, uh, just hanging at the center, just slowly tilting. I point at it. And you see just the big toothy smile that says go past the cheekbone and slightly cocked with a slight lightning to her eye before she moves into darkness again. Oh. What was, what was that? That's her head. Her head? Yeah. You notice that she was carrying the necklace with a bunch of beads on it. With one of the strands of her hair. Hmm? What'd she say her name was? Mary? The Mary? 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 I will repeat it again, but only once. Nope, 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 nope. That is your opinion. Nope. Who else? Why? Perhaps you can hear what the players say. What? Really, though? <laughs> Uh, we need to make yeah. we need to make sure that Weird. she doesn't she doesn't try to do not take this very lightly, little gentleman and ladies. Being indebted, well, have been having a debt owed from one of the members of the of the writing hand is something of a genius that many people would decide for. Come, on, say it. What do you want? Say it. Come on, I know it. Shall we go? I want the dwarf alive and well, just the way he was when he came here with no ill effects, period. And the dad. Hmm. That's two things. I'll take... Shit. Uh, <laughs> My favorite okay. that. <laughs> no! 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> she can't do that. How big of a sleeping pile you get know? one. I'll, I'll take the dwarf. Uh, exactly the way he was with no ill effects and no lasting effects. Just two maybes, then. Huh? That's one favor for me. Take it to the capital. Take what to the capital? Body. Why? Verlusian's capital. If I remember correctly, is the Vast More. No, not the Vast More. The uh, Vast Mare. I have no idea what you just said. Go to the capital of the Russian Empire, which is in your end. Do you understand? Do you understand politics? Unbelievable. As she just... My, my brother will likely know where that is. Okay, so you write now. <laughs> I don't know where it is. My now brother will father. probably know where it is. Now for the father. <laughs> father, I got that. That's very, very nice. Now if you want father, all I would like to... Uh, I, I did... No, 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 no. I you asked, so I will give you the prize for him. Because oh. Turns to see. I would like the taste. I don't understand what you're asking for. I'm asking for you to let you. Oh, no. Maybe he'll change that. <laughs> That's a great price, but I'm not paying that. So, okay. I, I, I did my thing. 
However, I take my payment on that. I'm the father. <sighs> do, we, do we catch what the clean is from the sound? Make a perception check. A disadvantage because it's not relying on sight. I, I'm specifically yeah. listening for that clanging sound. Make a perception check. No, it's straight out because it's just sound. Is it coming from the thing I saw moving between the cracks Bummer. and the walls? Bummer. Disadvantage, perception. perception. Ooh, six. Uh, no perception. Fourteen. Yeah, straight up six. Fourteen. Eck is not a power play on on on, on st- stats. Four. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. Hearing the horses in the distance, just like in, <laughs> wow, that was funny. <laughs> anyway. Followed by the clinging between the cackling of this headless moving hair maiden. With its e clan, you could swear it comes towards the direction of the waterfall, being carried by the waterfall itself. That's as, much, as much as you can get on that. As uh, Mary speaks up again, mm-hmm. I'm. Mm, no, I can't do that. The father is a bit of a class, isn't it? It was part of the sacrifice, part of the need for what you brought here. Part of the need of the slaughter, disgrace, and betrayal that I saw. It is all a process. Please understand. But my heart goes out to you. It's over there. Oh no. That's someone's heart. Oh. Alright, well, possessed. <laughs> you hear a uh, movement of rock. Oopsies. All right, anybody else want to like try and reach? Should we just go? Oh, and I have one suggestion. Right. This grand speed changed uh, within a matter of hours. As you hear buzzing. Well, it has been interesting. Yes, it has. We need, we need a way out. Grab the rope, mm-hmm. let's go. Mm-hmm. We need to go. Hey, and you have a great time here with your evil voodoo stuff. Oh, don't make me do that now. Yeah. Let me try to get to the boat. Yeah, we're going to try and go down. I'll take both the bodies on the shield again. Do I have a I don't know. You do not get tired. They, they still have favor. I do not get tired. I said no, thank you. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want anything else? Vast knowledge is, I know. No. Part of the arcane, someone hunting for something. Everyone wants something. I just have and she's You see the hair just kind of slither up with only uh, the hair out, almost acting like uh, uh, part of the body snake. Uh, just uh, mangled hair in her uh, severed hand at the very top. Outside, uh, all of you at the very edge of one of the pillars, as you just see her deranged smile. Just, no, no, I, I have a feeling we'll meet again. See you later. Oh, we'll meet again, Great Walker. So, great Walker, as he just lo- she looks over to Davos. I guess that's the title for you. <laughs> Wait, I'm not a great Walker. Great. Mm-hmm. Let's go. No, but you are over the grave. Yeah. I'll get that one for free. Well, oh. not really for free, but the entertainment aspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get We're out. Yeah, I am walking. Sure. I am I'm walking. Sure I, want to sure. it. I am walking. <laughs> We're walking. We're walking. Peace out. Away. <laughs> <laughs> Back the way we came. <laughs> No more questions. Step away <laughs> from the creepy lady. As you guys start to separate, in which are direction are you going towards? Back to the water okay. question. I was going to make it really well. There wasn't really a cave. There's a waterfall entrance. Otherwise, it's just cliffside. That's the only way. Would be cave. The only way we had to go. Hmm? Just backtrack. I was going to make a request. What is request? Backtrack. I request you. As and you turn your around, and as the rest of the group is starting to leave in the direction they're going, you stop, and you're a little further away from the group. As you see the snake. Uh, Hair, her long, tangled, blood, messy black hair that seems to be seeping with some sort of liquid is wrapped around a couple of rocks like a snake in her head at the very top of it. But her, but her I must object. Neck, 
of the, the stump of the neck, it's still just dangling. I request you and your clan to leave this group alone and to never bother us again. Hmm. And you didn't want to ask. <laughs> Everything is Fine. Nice. But for a price. See? You must take that toad. No, oh, we'll look at this again. As she starts thinking a little bit, I have to look something up. Oh, this sounds badly anyway. Everything is price. Where is it? Where is it? She wants us to do it. Oh, here it is. There's always strings attached. Well, she said she owed us, so... Severed the paws of Vaughn and gave the pie to your neighbor. And I shall never do pops. Severing the ties of... <sighs> Sever the paws of Bond and <clears throat> give the pie your neighbor. Uh, give pie to your neighbor. That's how it is. No idea. You open, the, you open your hand and you see it's two kitten paws. Ah. Having their knuckles crossed together and their just stump of the arms just holding a, a part way. I don't like that. I'm walking. <laughs> fuck this shit on up. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't really know what happened here. Yeah, but I really your care. friends a fire. I'm gonna say the yes. grandma things get the hell out so, of here. So now you've got more dead parts to, 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 to pass around. Fuck this shit on up. Hey, as, I'm, as I'm walking the way we can. It was worth a try. Derek, great job. Let's go. <laughs> Derek is already like 50 feet ahead of here. <laughs> Derek? He, he, uh, he saw this and he just turned around. <laughs> that was he just kind of just went up. Oh, yeah. He's just like. Oh, I was talking was to Davros. 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 He said Derek. I oh, said Derek. That was Davros. Derek. Davros is just. No. No, no, no. We're going back down the way we came. Too bad, more. so sad. But more carefully. Mm -hmm. Must be careful now. We're not getting shot at. And as you guys start your descent of the mountain, with the Can two we... people are just huddled together to you, like almost like a uh, like a monkey with a uh, baby monkey with its parent, and just kind of clinging to the biggest person. You. Right, we had the fifty foot bodies. rope, right? So we can put in oh, a no, piton at the top off. and use that. I can carry you as well. Going down, right? Yeah. It's the five hundred foot. I'm foot. carrying, I think, three hundred pounds right now, uh, plus the two, so that'd be uh, 500, 600 pounds. And then with you, it'd be about 700 pounds? Wow. 800 pounds? That's going to take some. I can do that. Uh, you can drag, yes, but you can't lift. No, I'm carrying two. The rest are just holding on to me. He's dragging them. Okay. We'll I'm, I'm carrying the two that need to be carried. Yes, and right now you only have your feet going at an angle like this. I can do it. Okay, so that's more. Okay, Wait. if it's walking, I can walk. Oh, yeah, you're fine. It was the climbing yeah. stuff yeah. I couldn't do earlier. You're not getting shot at right now, so. Should be fine. Yeah, it's fine, right? Okay, so who's going first and you're all tied together? Uh, maybe I'd be in the back then, in case anyone falls, I'll just hold them. <laughs> you're already holding You're already holding so no. Who's the heavyweights? Let, let me, let me. Alright, so you should be the last guys to go down then. I need to be the last one to go down. Alright. <laughs> I guess I can go first. first. I will go first. Are you tied together? Are we tied together? I would, I would assume so. Yes, we will be tied together. What is the distance between person and person? Five feet. Uh, five feet? Ten feet? It doesn't need to be that far. Yeah, I was thinking five, 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 feet. Feet. five feet. Okay, five feet. Less. Why do we need 30 feet, feet between people? No, uh, going the same. way you can, you're, uh, okay, so unless we can find a better way to go down. This is the waterfall for mm -hmm. like the angle that it is. About 100 feet down was like the only sheer cliff that I had before a waterfall. Mm -hmm. You came from this direction. Mm -hmm. So the waterfall, you could always hear it from a distance, but you could never see it until you got to the peak itself. Uh, going down the same uh, path-ish uh, that you went down, uh, make a athletics check. Yeah, as you hear the cackling in the distance, as she disappeared yet again, just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we have much to use. Are we all making a perception? No, no he's making athletics. Athletic, yeah. Yeah. Ten. You're looking for something. Ten. Uh, as you start to go down, your foot immediately slips. And who's the next person behind you? Uh, let's have some of the stronger guys kind of like in the middle, I'm in the back. So who's well, the next person be, behind you there? Will it be at the back? Uh, oh. It looks like... Uh, Gentlemen, yeah. who's Darian. the next person after Derek? You want me to go next? It okay, looks like then you me are. and I Make have a strength saving throw, please. 
And I also have sticky mud on my hands and feet. Make it with an advantage. Just so we have the stronger guys in the middle as well. Net 20. 25 plus um, 5, 30. 30? Uh, okay, so uh, you're, uh, Derek, as you fall, you slip, you're, uh, the rope goes taut, and your body's just about uh, to fall over, and you're about to eat just shit right now. And, uh, well, Marion, you're just like, boom, no? <laughs> I swing the rope to put back on the cliff. As you guys uh, readjust your Sorry! Side. I misplaced the rock! I want everyone to make an athletics check just to uh, speed these things along. You at disadvantage because you're yeah. using only feet. Yeah, and I'm carrying extra weight. So. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, crap. Hey, what do you know? Look at that. Did you say strength saving throw? Or? No, this is an athletics check. Mm -hmm. 18. <coughs> 13. 14. 12. Who's after you? Me. 13. Who's after you? I don't know. Uh, Portal control. Uh, Ten. Just strength, just strength on. Right? Thirteen. No, it's athletics. Athletics. Well, it's an athletics check. Oh, athletics. I'm sorry. Eleven. No, thirteen. 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 Final answer. So, as a team, I'm not slipping. I'm not slipping. I'm not slipping. Yeah, as you're saying that, I'm not slipping. I'm not slipping. All of you start to slide. <laughs> the only ones that uh, uh, you you just dig your heels in, and you see the uh, rock just splitting. And just becoming chunks and just sliding down. And you see a ledge coming closer and closer, faster and faster. Make another uh, uh, dexterity saving throw, uh, okay. trying to stop yourself. Dexterity yeah. 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 yeah, this is how you got just. Can I use that? Fucking kidding me. I said make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, okay. Well, all 17. Of us? No, not me. Right? 17? Why can't you? Am I still advantage for my sticky mud? Um, at this point, no. This is a deck space. Oh. Actually, yes, I would say the advantage because of how it's going and everything. 28. 28? Can I roll straight up from my last roll? What? Can I just roll straight up from my last roll? No. Okay. What'd you get? Natural one? <laughs> um, yeah. Jesus. So that's a minus five, so that's a three. A dex check? <laughs> the rock broke. Uh, we're doing oh, like, acrobatics, you said? Mm -hmm. dexterity. No, so. dexterity saving throw right now. Oh, a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. Okay, so plus two, 13. 13? Oh, never mind. That's a negative three. Oh, uh, 20, 20, negative three. Two. So, what's our most years again? 28. 28, 22. 17. 17 and? 11. 11. Negative three. Davros? Negative three. A lot. So, between one, uh, between uh, Varian, Sunny, Hazel, Davros. Davros. Yours was what? 11. 11. You uh, managed to uh, change your trajectory so that you hit ledges and you kind of uh, act as anger for the rest of the team. And then suddenly, sparks. <coughs> Ick. And you hear a twang and you start to hear a <coughs> As uh, bits of strands of the rope are starting to tear, but it is wet, making the ropes a lot stronger than they would be normally. Uh, and you guys, uh, those that are holding on, uh, well, I'll just say all of you are just barely holding on with using all of your strengths. So the elves and the little human are holding yeah, the yeah, robot yeah, yeah, right now, <laughs> Let's just put it this way. You guys have been placed into a, uh, pivots, uh, sorry, uh, a little uh, potholes where if it, if they continue to fall, your, well, your gut part going to be right down. I want you two to make a athletic This is not going so well. Advantage? Advantage. So straight up. Well, for you, straight up. And you, advantage. As you guys are just kind of getting away from now. These guys are getting their guts ripped out and coming down. It might be wise to augment my. As I'm hanging there, it might be wise to augment my peg leg with some metal claws or something. He says that as he's tumbling to the That is the last thing you hear of that. Followed by. Okay, so. um... Athletics check? Mm -hmm. 24. 24. Uh, what was yours? Athletics? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's actually not bad. No, Nine. I'm sorry, 26. So, 20, yeah. 26. With, with Sparks' uh, inability to grab anything as he's just holding <laughs> on to dead guy one, dead guy two. Uh, you uh, start yes. swinging yourself so you're able to get a purchase on the other side. 
and uh, take majority of the uh, uh, weight uh, so that spark can't really stand right now. As you just hear the cat going, <laughs> for those that are on top, for you four that are on top right now, you just see the hair just uh, in three strands now, just almost like a weird uh, hair spider just holding her head out that she's just hanging by her skull and she's just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> not right where we're at. Bitch better not be following us home. How about this? Just for the fun of it. Go in that game. There's a little entrance at that waterfall. There might be someone in there that's to help you. Just go for the claim. <laughs> I'll be right too. I should just quite literally, almost like a weird, just un, uh, beheaded uh, Sonic. When he does that weird uh, oh. uh, roll thing, yeah, she does but that it's with a her roll hair. Of hair. Oh yeah. God! With the hair at the center. Oh. That's told me we should go in the cave. Do we really want to take that the base? Is that where the claim is actually coming from? But it might whoa, be. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. <coughs> All right, no, wait, wait, it wait, might wait, be someone wait. calling for help. Stop! <laughs> That's what we are attempting to do. Stop! She really <laughs> hasn't done anything bad to us yet. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and we did do her a solid. So that's you know that's uh, one way to look at it. Yes, yes. We did do her a solid. We all stand and got beheaded. Here's my question: Is this the How best place to be having a conversation so right now? No, I think we should go in the How cave. How many thousand feet have we climbed so far? Two hundred. Yeah, we should go in that cave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid wet rocks. Actually, not even two hundred. It was about a hundred at this point. Unfortunately, because the other hundred we just slid. Yeah. Our current positioning is very precarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. I'm not doing much better, and I'm really good at this. At, oh, are you? Make one, two, three, I, and I'll oh, make a constitution saving throw. As you're holding these two fuckers right now. Yes, we're in No we're, advantage for this one. Unfortunately, no, I'm in a very okay. precarious position. <laughs> oh, wow, that rose oh, pulled 20. through. Oh, okay. Good. That rose is just. 20. I will not die today! That's good. That's my roll? No, oh. you're, you're, you're dangling. Did I, did I get to make something? I can use my acrobatics. Make an athletics check to see if you can get to uh, cling to the wall. Four. I beat you. I think I just got bit by a bug. Twenty-three. No, I got bit by a bug. Sorry, one more time. Four. I beat her. Seven. So Sonny's with 15 gold. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Hazel, should I roll one? Should I roll one? And, uh... Barian, you take a exhaustion point. As it is just physically taxing, holding on to something that is about five times your weight. But it's only possible because all of you are acting together on this. And sticky mud. And sticky mud, of course. That's how we do it. I'm standing this way. So, I need everyone to make another athletics check, straight up. Uh, no, actually, sorry, at disadvantage, everyone else straight up with advantage because you have to go to the blocking right? Uh, to try to get to the middle of the water. Woohoo! Acrobatics? Wait, am I straight I up or like do I have disadvantage? I'm pretty surprised for advantage. Okay. I don't know exhaustion. Uh, sorry, for those that have the exhaustion point, yes. At disadvantage. So you two would be at disadvantage because you have one exhaustion. I'm still the poison position, I think. This is not the normal poison. I know, but I'm just reminding you. I know. Don't worry. Okay. I have something special for you, okay? Oh, <laughs> <boy>. uh-huh. <laughs> Yes. Always <laughs> something when the DM says no, that. Make it's a... something special that ends with... It's <laughs> 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 a lot of Vaseline, if you're lucky. Uh, make a perception check, just for Okay, I, I rolled 20... I rolled twenty. I know. I rolled twenty-three on that roll. Okay. Okay, that was the athletics roll. Yep. Okay, so it was twenty-three. Because I rolled advantage now. Now a perception. Oh come on! I'm like, I'm a seventeen. No, you're not. You're a three. <laughs> <laughs> the equi. I think I know something. Nope, I don't know anything. I think I know nothing. So athletics. Eighteen. Eighteen. I Twenty-four, and then he changed it on. Uh, oh! You're just kind of being dragged on on the side of the wall right now. Seventeen. Seventeen. Oh, wait, it was 24 before you made me re-roll. Well, you would have... Wait, advanced, this was, it would, okay. Okay. Oh, with advantage, I had 24. Advantage and disadvantage. So, so it's straight. straight up. Yeah, because I re-rolled, so that was a 1. 
Oh, I Wait, you didn't roll oh. disadvantage? Oh, I had a 24 when Good I rolled advantage, Lord. but then he, I had to re-roll because he said I didn't have advantage. But you didn't. Even though he told me first I had advantage. He rolled straight Because I forgot the exhaustion point, okay? <laughs> he rolled straight up the second time though, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so we both got my, that. My, my uh, you had a 27 and 20, 20, 20, 23. 23, sorry. So I'm going to say it takes well. some time these rolls. For, for the next <laughs> grueling half an hour. You eventually crawl your side uh, with Davros when you're fucking high as well. Can you Good get your eyes over to so the ledge where you see the roaring waterfall of just perpetual water that is jetting out for a good 10 feet before falling down for maybe another 500 feet? This is, I, I and like, you see I, a small like section that has been chi- uh, chiseled out, maybe, at least forced out by some means, and you see dry land that's not being bombarded by water yeah. on your side. Uh, everyone make a constitution saving throw, as unfortunately you did not roll very well. I don't know. Do I roll this no. As a group, I mean. Oh my You're gosh, the dice are not in our favor tonight. Do I roll straight up or? Straight up. This is a constitution saving throw. This is for like a or something? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't even. True, you don't even need to roll it. What the fuck? 11. Not, make an athletics check just to see if you can help out someone. Okay. Uh, wait. Can I roll those ones and two? Yes. 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 Athletics? Go for it. Athletics? Okay. 26. Wow, 26. five ones. Everyone, roll nope, with just advantage. Two. Woohoo! Roll with advantage because he does not suffer exhaustion and he's helping a lot because he just doesn't suffer exhaustion. So I get to re roll that time with advantage? Yes. Well, no, you just roll one more time. Okay. It doesn't matter, it's going to be better than this one. Okay, thank God. <laughs> this is a constitution saving throw, is it? Yes. Better? This is a 16, so it becomes an 18. Okay. The other one was a nat one again. So make sure you put your inventory that you have a. Uh, two wow, those are crap. Cats, <laughs> paws that are interlocked. It's soon you catch it. <laughs> Please don't eat that. He just found it in his hand. Please ah. never go look at that. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. You beat me. Constitution the same throw? Six. Uh, you suffer one point of exhaustion. Okay. You know what sorcerers are good at? Constitution, Constitution saves, 21. Okay. <laughs> 17. Okay. It's 15. Mm-hmm. Barely mentioned. Sorcerers are hard. <laughs> because of the assistants. That's assistants, yes. Yeah, I so, only made that because of you. <laughs> with one mighty, uh, with one final it. huff, uh, you help everyone over the ledge. Like and you find, with a slight uh, a hallway to it, but not very much, you find yourself in a very uh, expensive cavern, uh, cave, even. It, anyway, it's more structured than any other uh, cave system that you've seen yourself uh, before. It is a 30 foot diameter room, so not that big, but big enough, with the center of it with a giant whirlpool that is still rotating very, very fast with a very deep divot at the center, <coughs> even when they can't even see uh, where, uh, how far it goes. Along the side, you see six Nordic individuals, armored uh, Norse uh, uh, men, standing about 40 feet tall, recessed into the walls, chiseled out of the walls, with four of them holding chains that lead to the center, uh, holding a suspended cage system, which looks to have laid down figures with a lot of Flies, just, just a swarm of uh, flies at the center of it. Ah, shit. You see, make another perception check for all of you. Is it disadvantage? Is there a light spell right now? Yes, there is. Yes. Ah, then no, just straight up. But I can see 120 feet. Okay, what thing? Straight up. Yeah, I did. Nick, I haven't had exhaustion before. What things are impacted uh, okay, by Okay, so any skills, sorry, ability checks, which is skills, mm-hmm. would be a disadvantage. Okay. Those have exhaustion, you would be a disadvantage. Thank you. One of those was a nat 20. <laughs> More. 12. 17. 
Oh. Still pretty good. Yeah, I know, but the other was a nat 20. I know. I know. Perception right. kill me in my sleep. Ten. Do you know how many nat ones I've rolled so far oh. this game? I have rolled a lot. We're keeping track. <laughs> Correction, she's keeping track. Uh, perception checks? 17. 17? Some 13. of those were 13. 13. 13. So the highest was a 17. Seriously? Yes. Mm-hmm. How the fuck did I have the highest roll right now? How is he going to have um, the highest roll? I don't have, I have a plus one perception. I roll, I roll flat. You notice four separate different chambers along a uh, uh, cave. It's like small little caverns that have bars in front of it, crude, uh, rustic, uh, black metal bars. The same metal that you've been seeing around this entire area. That have just been jammed into the ceilings, the sides, and making this uh, grid section for each one. You'll, uh, you see four of those, and also two different cave systems that go either, uh, that go deeper down into whatever, or whatever cavern it goes to. Um, Along with the Norse figures, you notice that there's uh, Norse writing uh, around the base of the uh, dry section, which is only 10 feet, and then the rest of it is the local, that go up the walls in between each uh, Norse individual, that go to the ceiling, into a spiral uh, art piece of more ritualistic, like harsher symbols compared to the flowing angular pieces of the Nord. And you see a charred, into the, uh, charred ceiling center that goes straight down above the suspended cage. You hear the clang. Clang! Clang, 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 clang! Coming from one of the uh, cages in the walls. And you notice that there's one wood, two wood, three wood, four wood that are just leaning against it. Uh, further uh, supporting it, and it looks like it's heavier, thicker bars on it. And with each strike, there's like a bit of lightning and reverberation of collapsing sound waves. What do we Followed see? Followed by <coughs> coming off That's to one funny. of the cages off to the right. And you see movement in one of the cages. I'm turning around. Yeah. You see no, a sheer no, cliff. No. Is there another way? To, where is the way we went down? In the world did we miss this the first time it's around? It's in a cage. This way didn't go, we went through the secret way instead of the obvious way. Yeah, yeah. We didn't take the your stupid path. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're doing that now. Uh, it's in a cage. I think what the term is, you're looking for a Skyrim door. And it's making noise, trying to... Yes, and remember what happened to me last time? How's the it cage. going over there, guys? you just standing where you are and you just saying this? Yeah. Okay. No! Clang, 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 Like, an obsessive amount of clangs in a short amount of time. And you see the reverse version. Well, I'm not your dumbass to this stone. Should we carry something? For you. Give me all this fucking cage! I'm gonna rip those fuckers apart! I respond back, which fuckers? What language? Or... Uh, I don't speak that. Uh, At right. the same time... Rawr, 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 rawr. I say back to it. That's what you guys hear, and you start speaking the same language just less intense. Um, you notice that... Uh, the you understand that? Off to the right, uh-huh. in one of the uh, cages. Start moving towards it, and you see one arm, two arms, and now that they come out a little bit more of use, because you dark vision, increased dark vision, you notice that it's or- orcus figures, but the arms are like lumpy in some areas. And you see one of them uh, lumpy in other areas as well, and they're bloated in some fashion, and you hear, oh, well, it's the undead. Remember and the. And you see one of the uh, blobs on the arm pop, and you just see pus. That's not deal. Does it respond? So, clock back. I'm gonna go fuck the ones that shot me and put me in this cage. I'm a runner. You don't put runners in cage. Get me out! And you just clink, 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 clink. And you won't hurt my friends. Why would I hurt? Them? Did you put me in this cage? Nope. Then no. Right, I go over and say, help me, and I start pulling wait, the things wait, down. Wait, what? Going around the corner, 
you would immediately see this before you even touch anything. You would see a gorgeous, massive, but gorgeous toned uh, black, uh, 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 black skin uh, Mustang, male horse, that has a overly long mane of gray and white that just overly go down it, and you notice on uh, uh, on its stone body, it has eight hooves. And eight on each hooves. hoof, so it has two pairs of legs. So with each hoof, there's a, not rusted, four pairs, but four pairs. Four, more, pairs. Yeah, four pairs of, uh, yeah, four pairs Here. of hooves. He has eight hooves. On each hoof, he has not rusted, but more a, gr a dull gray uh, metal on each hoof that had uh, Norse writing on it. And you just you see a horse. And you see, as soon as you make eye contact, you see a bit of lightning go through his eyes. How can I get you out? Is there a door or anything? He kind of looks at it and just looks at you. All right. Do I see get me out of here! Do I see a door? Make, a pers uh, make an investigation check. Help me! Right. Help you. Okay, okay if you're going over, yeah. I go with him always. So. Uh, may as well follow. Okay. Are you, Wrong okay. character. Do not split the party. Okay. Oh, 14 and 14. Investigation 13. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> 13? 13. Uh, looking at this thick bars 19. of just twisted metal. 19. 19? Okay, no more assisting after this unless you're doing individual rolls. Because I know you roll at disadvantage. Yeah. Okay, so you just. The other one was a nat 20 again! <laughs> <laughs> That dice that over time. Anyway, so yeah, this gorgeous uh, gray white mane horse with black skin. Uh, and it's like a very uh, smooth black skin kind of deal. It's a gorgeous horse. Uh, looking at the front of the cage, it's very thick and it looks like, which each one uh, jabbed in, it looks like they added more and more. And these are dent the fucking hell and back. These, uh, this thick, about an inch thick of just twisted uh, black metal that are just jabbed into the fucking wall. How far apart are the bars? Uh, half inch. They're half inch apart? They're half inch apart. Yep. Wow. Because they've been Holy just, shit. And it's not uh, reformed. It's just like over, 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 adding some heat, wow, adding some there. And That's then they have bars. They have wood beams propped up against it as well. Well, let's start, start by taking away the wood beams away. Yep, yeah, let's start tearing it apart. Uh, okay. Uh, make a strength check. I'm putting my body with advantage. Because they are stapled into the floor on how many times he's trying, trying to get out. <laughs> advantage. Ooh, yay. Strength check. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a 21. 21. You start to pull it, and you start to physically bow uh, the wood. And one inch, two inch, three inches, and something gets snapped. <laughs> One, you have four more to go. And he starts clang, 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 clang. Please refrain from, from struggling. So, can I use my angry dirt to melt some of the bars while he's doing that? You can definitely I'm so. Can I look to, is there like a, like any sort of like lock? Like, was there a door at all, or is it try. just bars? It's just bars. Is what I you can try. Can it looks like they trapped it in here. Because if there was any door they let it out, it probably would just be the door out. As far as you can know. And these orcs and these orcs are not exactly, you know, architectural pieces. I just wanna know how the hell they built it around it then. Twenty-three? Twenty three? Got it there when it's Second bar. <laughs> and he starts to speak again and it's very really strange. Is it the horse? He just opens his mouth yes. and you see movement in the throat. But the, there's not a lot of lip movement. Because horses don't have lips. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's all throat. Stop it. Twelve. Stop it. But it's speaking only primordial. <laughs> yeah, primordial. Does it understand common? As you uh, take off the second one, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! As, you, uh, as he quite literally bucks and kicks backwards. Can't you feel it? Can't you feel the twisting of the nature around us? They're gonna take us apart! It's gonna be hauled into another prime! Ay! Get me out! And he starts banging. I don't feel it, but we'll get you out. Make another yeah. strength. 
Uh, 13 acid damage. Okay, uh, you start melting the bars, and he seems to be striking at the points that it hit with even further force. 18. 18, you go for the third one, and it starts the bow, and your hand slips, and you have to start again. You want a hand axe? I can just okay. 21. Mm-hmm. 21. You pull it another time. As you pull further and fuller, uh, further away, you uh, take off the uh, front part of it and just splinter it. Another 13 and damage. Points. And that'd be a modified 20. This character, not the best at explaining it. How did it get caged? Modified 20. You're talking to him. Modified 20. As you pull the last one out, suddenly he bucks again with uh, this time even further uh, strength. And this guy's strong than you. Bucks and kicks the entire grate off as you guys have the dodge out of the way over you and into the pool as it splashes. And suddenly with a blur movement, <laughs> goes to the other cage where there's the people. And they all just immediately. <laughs> And, uh, move backwards, and one of the uh, there's cool uh, Orcus. Oh fuck, we're gonna die! Finally. And it just crashes Finally. through the barrier, and you hear stomping, there. screaming, kicking, bucking, thunderous sounds. I mean, and you just look over there, and uh, he's just murdering them. Mm. Good. Okay, I'll ask. when you're done, can you help us get out of here? With the uh, final <laughs> slam, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. what you hear is, and this is for bringing me into here, how dare you do this to a, such a sacred place? Oh! And he just uh, slams even further into the floor, one of them uh, completely severing his neck and into the ground, and it's only like a small slam. Tell him that we killed the ones up top. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of the hooves at the same time is in the chest cavity of another one, and the other one is getting bucked and kicked out the door and into the uh, pool as it just and you see now these bloated figures that have a overextended gut of gray green liquor uh, seeping through these bloated pustules that are growing across their bodies. I'm glad we ate before we started. Agreed. <laughs> That's the one you can't eat. One of them tries to yeah. run out the door and it's already there and this thing moves crazy fast. For how big it is, it's like a, uh, a war horse on steroids. And then you give that steroid horse four legs, uh, four additional legs. This yeah. thing is crazy. Wow. As it just bucks and just hits his head on the back and just tosses it in into the war hole again and just looks around. <laughs> I feel better. We killed lots of orcs too. Good. Can you help us get out? Yes. You should, Thank you. Should, you should he ask said him. Yes. You should ask them what they were doing here. Let's do, do that while we're walking. Or riding or being bold or teleporting or something. However, he'd like Super to do this. Yes, we also have people we need to save. He starts to walk around. I'm just checking the ceiling. And looks like he's checking each cage. <laughs> Sorry? I, said, I'm, I tell them, I'm just glad he speaks Flannish. It seems to go around, passes Gavros, passes you, passes the rest of you, goes up to Derek. And his head is massive. Uh, his head is quite literally, uh, you're standing about 5'6", if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. He's a good three feet taller than you, mm-hmm. and his head is basically like chomping distance of him just being normal, and he just sniffs you up. Oh, that was a little bit more snotty than expected. <laughs> That's not what he does. He just... You are fine, horse. You kissed death. You kissed death. You made the deal. Wow. Yeah. And you were happy. And he goes over to that. What is he saying? This one has been touched by boils of pain. Boils of pain? Boils, boils of pain. Of pain. Ooh. You have boils. Are they painful? You've been touched by them? Oh, no. As he uh, 
he quite oh, literally lifts off and four hooves. To, to me? To you. Oh, Ow. no. Natural one. <laughs> and I thought you quick. said he was going to help us. Or perhaps he is. She said trying to get rid of this black magic. It's the poison. Uh, well, so no, I was talking to. Plus for the hooves, it's going to be a plus eight. I think that hits. I need to make a constitution saving throw. All right, I'm not, I'm not raging. I will be. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's a long rest. No. Oh shoot! I'm done with rages because we've only done a short rest. Shit! <laughs> you said you wouldn't hurt my friends. Constitution saving throw. Mm -hmm. Seventeen. Seventeen. As you land on your back and kind of rock because you're you're a shell. As you're, you just got to. Yeah, I've got all the packs too, sir. So <laughs> it's just a heavy. Turn all the shells out, better. Uh oh. With one of the he's on his back, he can't get us. No, it's, it's not a good position to be in. As one Don't, of the hooves landed straight on your chest, sure. and you feel your entire body, almost as if your soul got knocked down for a split second before back in. You saw that. As he bucks and hits you, since you were standing behind him, and he's going to do the same thing. Are you, can, are you poisoned too? No. That's a natural twenty. Well, I might have been. Oh, oh you shit. You're dead now. I need to make a constitution saving throw with advantage. With advantage? I didn't have advantage. You're not the Dread Fighter Derek. <laughs> True. <laughs> There's only one. <laughs> there can be only one. 20. Now he's mixed it. Modified. <laughs> yeah, now, now you're mixed As up. he's saying that, <laughs> there, can there can only be only one. As you get it. <laughs> you're 10 feet, you fly. What? <laughs> And both of you are just grasping for air as you just got booed by a strength 24 creature. Oh! It is. The soul pop out. As a half second goes by, as he's just. To go Claire, to these people air. are my friends. Uh, Ep, you, it, you, after getting uh, your body back from the throbbing pain, and you didn't take any damage, but you turn your body and immediately just start vomiting gross green gray. And so yeah, do you. You didn't hurt him. That would have been the poison. He did him so hard he threw a lot. That's the bad poison. Oils of pain coming out of his mouth. So it's the most poison hit of the stuff. It is the most vile shit you have no. ever tasted. Mystic before. It's like rotten uh, salmon wrapped with uh, uh, kimchi. Oh, yeah. dude. And I have my new cold recipe. Wow. Thank you. If, if it's green, don't eat it. <laughs> nope, no, 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 no. And he sniffs you as you're vomiting. Comes over. Quack, quack. Nothing like a turtle and just looks sitting on all fours like a cat. Like like he's trying to cough up a fur ball, but it's really just. <laughs> this is no fur ball. <laughs> did his soul pop out too? Yes, it did. Oh. Hmm. I feel better. Okay. Uh, thank you, I think. You clean their souls. Yes. Shall we go? Do, do I? Thank you, I think. How long am I throwing up? For yeah. a good 30 seconds. Oh, gosh. Did it? You, uh, well, one constitution saving throw, failed constitution saving throw away. Oh, no. Uh, from turning into one of those uh, bloated individuals. Oh, my God. You have not failed many of them. Actually, I didn't think Wait a minute. Any I've got a great constitution, and I was failing a lot. You were just failing a lot, and you oh. went down a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't go down. As he goes around the corners again and sniffs every single cage that looks like they have been emptied out and they have crude doors that look like uh, one of them. Actually, no, he just goes up to it. You don't even get that. And he just kicks the door open to go check it and goes to each and every one. <clears throat> Is it safe to say that I'm no longer poisoned? You are no longer poisoned. Oh, and he just speaks again. Wow. <laughs> Start tonight. <laughs> no, you said it once. What did you say? Because you're he the said, one that can understand him. You <laughs> hear him? We heard that part. Oh. You're the one that can understand him. Want to let us in on the secret? Sure, just one moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, the universal translator. <laughs> he speaks. It is a pleasure to meet someone of your stature. 
that someone is able to speak the divine tongue of my culture. My name is Magna. One more time. Magna. Magna. I said it wrong. M I G N I. Magna and Carta. Thank you. Magna. 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 He's not doing this with his horse, by the way. Well, he has some despair. So. Yeah, he does, yeah. I'm Barian, this is Flan, and, and these are my friends. And he just looks over you. For free, you said, okay. For free? What do you want? You said you want to help you? Yeah, just back down to the base of the tower. And there's a boat that might still be there. If not, if you can get to the boat, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. One second. My brother looks upset. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, he's asking if, 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 uh, if we need help, and I asked him to get us to the boat. Okay. I did good. <laughs> he looks up. His eyes go cloudy for a half second. There is no boat. I will relieve you of this little section. I my as flies, it's quite much like a swarm of flies, almost like an erupting uh, volcano, but just a swarm of flies erupt through one of the arm and chest of the figures that were holding the chain, and the uh, cage just, <laughs> as you see, uh, see movement inside of it. One big, bulbous, white-skinned orc creature, many times larger than it was, just sculping down other bodies. Ugh. As you see movement inside its belly, as you see bits of the shoulder piercing through uh, the body, as the undead things are still alive inside of it, apparently. I don't recall saying I looked at it. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Just to clarify. He uh, lifts up and slams down his front four hooves, and out of the dirt, just uh, uh, almost as if the sand cling uh, to the matter that has been created, creating this makeshift flat slide with basic uh, Nordic uh, riding on the side of it that have uh, that make the symbols into running horses of a hundred of uh, stamping the horses extrude according to terrible craftsmanship not enough time you know a slide it's a sled oh, a sled okay. oh, yeah. God. oh god <laughs> and it's actually a big yeah, sled Flan and I at the front. Let's okay. see. This is our way down. It's a 10 this foot creatures. by, uh, I would say, about 40 feet. So it would be 2, 4, 6. Uh, actually, no, not that long. It would be uh, 10 foot by, it's actually, let's say this. It can hold up to 8 people, which is, because you have 2 extra. 7, 8, 9. You have 9, eight, nine people available. I'm holding him. Mm-hmm. I have 10 and 1, basically, if I'm holding uh, I will say, as you guys get on, Wait, we got one, Prisoners that we're trying to set free too. Mm-hmm. We have two more as well. Spark, as you start to go towards the sled, as this thing in the cage starts, <laughs> it starts beating, clang, and just starts uh, crawling uh, around the bars and start bending the bars. Uh. As you see something claw out of it and the stomach reach it, and just fall out of its stomach, <clears throat> and just get up. As you see a mostly decomposed or just just start shambling towards you. Um, and pick up the people that we saved from on the Yeah, and they're just kind of just frozen, like, oh! On, on. And the guy card listener says, I'm a fucking butcher, what the fuck? This is too much, this is too much! As you just kind of push him on. on. And uh, Magni takes his uh, um, mouth, mouth? What is the horse's mouth? Horse's mouth. Horse's mouth. Grabs the back, grabs the, I hope the microphone picked that up. <laughs> Grabs the back of you as you're starting to go to sled and gets you closer to him and just basically tells you to get on. Get on his back. Is he big enough for me to ride? Yeah. He's a nine foot horse. Yes. Okay, fair He's enough. He's only big enough for me to ride. Think, think of it. It is the most badass war horse that you could think of. It is a. Think Doom Slayer would ride this horse into hell. Carrying two bodies, just. <laughs> I thought you put the bodies on the sled with us. No, 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 no. the living people. No, yeah. The living ones are with them, the bodies are with me. 
Uh, for now, you had to put one of the body stones. I'm keeping my father with me. Yeah, you have your father with you, but you had to put so that you can hold on to so the bo- And it's just bareback. Yeah. It's just bareback. As soon so as all you get on, that's okay, I'll make rashes. In, he immediately moves at 50 feet plus his reaction for another 50 feet plus an additional 50 feet. So he's going 150 feet per turn. Uh, and at the same time, he's going to do it now. Uh, no, that's picture worthy right there. He's action at the same time. So uh, let's just say he's, yeah, exactly. The Zero cape to 150 is moving. That banner, though. Yeah. My metal cape that is really, really heavy is blowing behind me like it's made of silk. <laughs> A little bit. Yeah. As he just. Why is blowing behind me? <laughs> and with each. He didn't even get an end, end warning. All he said was, hey, God. Am I on the sled as well? Yes. I'm assuming. I hope you're on the sled. I fucking hope you are. As the zombie <laughs> behind you sort of... I've never seen a creature like this before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would like to be as far forward on the sled as possible. As you guys race towards the uh, uh, the waterfall... Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> There's a ride I know about. <laughs> <laughs> you see, with each... Hold your arms up, everybody. <laughs> With each landing of its individual hooves, you see small explosions of dirt as the very rock itself explodes. The sled's 10 feet wide? This, yes. Oh, it's great that those waterfalls are going to open up 10 feet for us to go out. Oh, how fantastic. Well, the waterfall is actually 15 feet. Yeah, but The walkway is 10 feet. Mm-hmm. The oh. walkway was actually 10 feet. The sled's 10 feet. Yes. So, we'll, so shape water is going to go through so we don't get splashed. It's t- it's okay. part of it. I understand. You, as you cast shape water, mm-hmm. as you guys hit the water a little bit, you don't sink immediately. You just because you're going so fast, you're hydroplaning. <laughs> at this point, uh, kind of. As you guys know, and quite literally, you fall immediately, and he's just and you notice that he's not actually hitting the floor, but yet he's going down at a sharp angle, really fucking fast. But it just keep going further and further and further with each individual hoof hitting. Like almost a ethereal plane version of like some sort of hard matter as it explodes with thunderous lightning. <laughs> as you see the Nordic uh, riding on each hoof light up as soon as it hits. We're missing five. So where's he hmm? missing I don't know, but we're going there first. As long, <laughs> as, long as, as long as it's away from here, as you I'm go okay down with 100, it. 200, 300, 400, 500. <laughs> <That's speed. laughs> yeah. as, as individual pelts of the rain is hitting you like hail now. It's like a sandblast. As we get yeah. to the as we get to the bottom, a lightning strike and a flash. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the funny thing is, <laughs> as you uh, you see jets of swarming bugs just erupting from this mound now, cracking through the rock, cracking through other bar- parts of it, almost like it's trying to consume it entirely. And suddenly, <laughs> oh, lightning strikes God. from above, striking. Each uh, individual, almost like a stream of a uh, buzz, just incinerated in a moment with rock exploding outward, almost as if, if uh, some, uh, uh, this uh, uh, storm is trying to uh, take away uh, the illness, trying to treat a wound as it strikes yeah. one, two, three, four, five times. Do you think it's take us all the way out of the storm, please? Or to the end, at least. You hear, no, it's not bullshit. That is what I am planning to do. I am leaving this uh, this hollowed ground, as it will become a patron to another god. And I do not like this fiendish creature, and I do not like what the orcs have done to me. You do not put me in a cage. I am supposed to run free! And he goes even faster. I'll never put you in a cage. No one puts baby in a cage. What fiend? I the fiendish lord, <laughs> ruler of the seven plains. Ruler of the seven plains, excuse me. The Lord of Flies. Lord of the Flies? What did he say? He doesn't like Lord of the Flies. Terrible. Oh, if you had to be a Lord of something, why would it be flies? Because there's a lot of them. Oh, uh, I don't think that. Nah, that's nasty. The Angel of Hell himself. What did Angel he say? of Hell. How fast are we that's going? That's the fiend that this is turning Pretty into. Pretty fast. That's a lot of calculator. Oh, no, how fast are we going? How many... Of like 300 30. per round, right? 300 feet every, every six seconds? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Time to 
times to I'm looking up the... That's why Derek is hanging on to his hat. 3,000 feet per minute. Hazel just has, like, her hood over. Yep. And she's just trying to, like, be as small as possible. Bowser said that... 3,000 feet per minute. Sorry, Bowser Boo. Bowser Boo? Lord of the Flies, Hell's Angel, the White Sun, the Black Sun, or whatever you wish to call him. He is the Lord of the Seventh, the Lord of which thrives. He is not a person that you want to hear with himself. Uh, I don't like him either. He heard all those people. At 34 miles per hour. That is not 34 miles what? an hour, I guarantee you. Oh, Lord of the right. Flies. 300 feet a second. Yeah, 300 feet per minute. Which is 100 feet per second. Just asking who he serves. Right. Really? 300 divided by a uh, second. After he gets his first. Sorry, it's 50 feet per second. Oh, yeah. Like you just increase it because it's every six seconds, right? For a round? Who cares? So you're at Times 10. No one cares. Fast. Math sucks. Yeah. It's magic. <laughs> Let's do the magic. <laughs> About 34 miles per hour. Ride the magic. You're because going very fast. It's fast. Is the robot being a calculator? Is that what's going on? Shut up. So, <laughs> even, even if it is only 34 miles an hour, that's faster than any of us have ever traveled. Yeah. And this is fast. Yes. And you know what? I go, goodbye, nasty place. <laughs> As you see, individual strikes. As you believe dropping the lightning down on the bad shit. Oh, my brother wants to know who's throwing the lightning. Heimfing. Hein Feng. Oh, that was actually the name I thought it was. Yeah, no. Hein Feng. Feng. Yeah. You're the only one that can write this stuff down because we don't know what he's saying. that we heard about earlier. The God. Yeah, you're writing that down, right? Yeah, you're writing it down. You're the only one that knows what the hell he's saying. I'm holding on for dear life. How am I writing this down? <laughs> Some she, say that she I knows the name. I already have that one written down. I have that name. Okay. Okay. At this point, you're about halfway Duke down. of Thunder, God of Stones. You're, at this point, you're just hy hydroplaning for the rest Sorry. of you. As yeah. with yeah. each row of planting, About 35 miles an hour. the water explodes outward with the amount of force that he's hitting, because <laughs> of the amount of weight that he's holding and the speed that he's retaining. Awesome. Well, so much I flip flip my head head head. Head. Also, <laughs> my head head. Head. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very refreshing state, uh, even though it's a very beautiful, but <laughs> Sorry, majestic but terrifying creature. Power wash. That is uh, pulling you forward. I'm I'm hunkered in the shell in case we end up go flying. I have extra <laughs> AC. I have extra AC. I'm hunkered in the, in the shell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who? The Are you a god? Flood of is not me. I am not a god. I am merely a soldier. If anything, I am a scout. He is a scout. Oh! Left behind after this. So is he. And she's just kind of like that. The quiet blue guy, right? Right. <laughs> Do not talk to me anymore, I'm right. Okay. He's a fast guy. Oh, he didn't like that question. I can't talk to him anymore. Oh. You can talk to me. Okay. I like that horse. I like the horse. I like the horse too. I do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I like the horse! Yeah, you know, you're all screaming right now, right? <laughs> no, I'm just doing the wee. <laughs> oh, I'm snoring. In flight snacks, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. Yes, yes please. Away, but. but I just have to show this picture because this is what he looks like. Looks like Odin's wow. horse. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a fucking majestic and also horrific thing. <laughs> no, well, not horrific, just a majestic thing. <laughs> So I'm using the main as something. Yeah, we're about like that too. Right? It's, it's pretty, yeah. uh, well, no, it's still a large creature. Oh, okay. But it's on, it's a larger. Other yeah, it's on the large. I'm the, I'm the only one here who could yeah. I'm the only one here who could comfortably ride Wait. this thing. Here comes the you sun. can ride. A, you never ridden a horse. Yeah. All the other horses usually collapse because you break its back. You tried it once with the farm horse. It didn't end well. <laughs> we had horse meatloaf. Oh. <laughs> 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 we. <laughs> and we, and we, and we, I thought the goulash was rather meaty that night. <laughs> so does he get us out? He does get you out. It only takes an hour to get you out. Wow. Mm. It took us three days to get in there. To does save he, our does he deposit us where there's uh, sunshine As soon as you guys get out and suddenly the breast of a of what normally is the summer breeze just hits you as uh, rain starts to stop. Actually, no, sorry. It doesn't even do that because this Magically enchanted monsoon. 
it is raining, 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 stops. Yep. Okay. Just in an instant. And as soon as he stops, maybe 50 to 60 feet, he stops and then starts bucking like crazy. Get off of me! Get off of him. Make a athletic, uh, make a dexterity saving throw. Saving throw. Yeah. Oh, that's a disadvantage. And he's just bucking. Okay. Am I disadvantage on dex? No. No. Ooh. Sorry. I don't know why I thought I was. Well, you are holding the body, so I'll say a disadvantage. Oh, there you go. Way to sell it, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> you literally asked for it. Yeah, okay. Wee! That's a two. Oh, that's a four? Oh no, oh, with body. I think it's time to use that so, sound effect. Uh, with, yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah, <that's four. laughs> yeah, so within an instant, a single see. pop, you just fly 20 feet into the air and just land harshly. Into the floor, almost making a small crater. And you just <laughs> making a small crater. Not taking that damage, that damage, but a little bit of pride, you know. <sighs> as he leaves the crate behind, as the crate, uh, sorry, the sled turns to dust and dirt. <laughs> as he just. <laughs> I look at Wait. the pictures. Bye! Thank you! Oh, he's got... Thank you! I wonder how he got caged in the first place. Yeah. Good question. You know, magic. I need like to build a fire. So do we know Powerful. where we are yeah, outside, or did he drop us off in the right place? Um, yes, he did. Uh, make a survival check. I can help you with that. Thank you. So I'm going to roll straight up then. <laughs> or why don't you help me? I have... okay. No more rain. Thank goodness. I'm, I'm going to build a fire. fire. I have a... Let me try off. Do we, yeah, do we think it's yeah, in this place? As you look around, it is Does he? late afternoon. 16. For the time it is. It is late afternoon. And what was your survival? 16. 16? Uh, yes, actually you're several hundred feet from the river that you had to cross uh, from that direction to your right. You're not directly out where you were, but if you walk maybe half a mile, you will get back on track. About how far away are we from the village then? The village is about a half day's journey at this point. And well, the let's time get right away well, after we do a half mile uh, track, it's a it, uh, half, half day's we get some half wood. And you said it's late anyway, afternoon? Anyway, we can dry it's off real quick. Yeah. I think you. it's oh, yeah, time. Was trying to keep cool. I think it's time to make camp and yes. get a long rest. As you hear water being strained let's, out. Let's uh, get it. I mean, as the woman who works is just thump, thump. And so it's like, her hair. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Yeah. It's magic. I, yeah, I, I, I never had an accident that I don't know I don't have that problem. <laughs> uh, very well. All right, we should get a little far away from the rain before we make camp. <laughs> As he comes over to you for half a second, just, ooh, my, you. after getting a good glimpse of you. Wait, I can't reach you. He puts his hand out. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> what do you do? Try him off. Oh, you already dragged her off. Oh, I thought this was the guy. No, this was the lady. Oh, no, I shake her hand. It's nice to meet you. As she's uh, stout, maybe three, three foot two. Uh, so she's pretty short on dwarfish nature, but she's very I bend down. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, anyway, uh, pleasure to meet you. Uh, coffee, thank you very again. Uh, very much again. Right, coffee's my thing. Uh, I don't choose on the name and things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Especially when they see sunny. me from the very... You know what you really situation. Oh no, I'm Sunny. Yes, this Sunny. No, I'm Sunny. I make coffee to drink. Oh! His, his sunny. Name, his okay. name is Sunny. His name is Sunny. Okay. Pleasure to meet you, Sunny. Uh, pleasure to meet you, the rest of your looks. Um, I will have to, if I have a house left, uh, left I am a Jacob is half on fire, so... Uh, if I have something left, I will treat you to something good, yeah? That uh, sounds great. By the way, uh, what did my brother tell you and what did he promise you? I already know he brought me something. He's not going to follow through with it. He said he was try a to. cleric of Sunny Ray? Saren Ray. Saren Ray. Well, that's full of shit. Yeah, well, you know, we didn't really care at the time because we wanted to go up and rescue anybody else who was getting slaughtered. I mean, that's the... Uh, Fair and, point. You had other things on the map. And, and we did 50-50 on that, so... What did, did he probably... He probably what, like, Gold, what? riches, you know, all the things people... Yeah, buy. I know. Yeah, that's why I'm wondering. Please understand that 
we don't have much of our money, however, we do have information. Or contracts, if you're willing. Yeah. You know what? We're just glad to be out of there. If you, anything you can do to help us, that's great. We should I, probably make camp before we walk so we can get a good I, rest. I, I your brother's going to be in there for like three more days. A ways away from here. Your brother's going to be in there for a couple more days because he didn't get a ride with the match course. That is true, uh, but he did take the boat, and the boat is uh, personally fast as well. Ah. I, I read in the boat, uh, whatever the boat was. I forgot about the boat. Okay. I'm gathering firewood. I'm just saying, last it's time that river kicked our ass. It's only a half day away, and this time we don't really have to deal with the river. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, so let's take the half day walk then. We're going to take the half day. It's three fourths of the day is gone. So we of sunlight, I mean. So, so if we were doing the half day maybe, walk, we'd probably be getting maybe it. Maybe about midnight. three more hours of sunlight. I'm pretty sure. So tired. can we walk for three more hours to get away from the rain? Yeah. And then make camp with no, the No, I'm just letting you guys know what is going on, okay? So yeah, you can definitely do so. Okay. All right. uh, you get to the river. You start following the river that you. Well, can. I'm doing something first before I go any further. Ah, sorry. Oh yeah. You were gathering firewood. I'm not going anywhere near the town. There's not a lot of firewood over here, so we're you knew you know a tree, which was actually the direction you need to go anyway. Because okay. remember that one tree that I said was way over there. That's well, that, that's that tree. We got hey. <laughs> There's a couple other trees in the distance of this. Uh, it's a very hilly uh, area, especially with the water and just uh, perpetually grinding this area down. So it's flat. In retrospect, that it's a very gradual hillside, it's just constant moving. So you find a couple of trees, and you do find a, a sufficient amount of firewood for what are you looking for, depending on what you're building. Think like standard uh, burning burial. Yeah, you, uh, you only need to make it yay big by yay big fire. You don't need to make the full Darth Vader fire. Not going full Darth Vader fire. So you look at the tree, and you have okay. that thought, and you're going to have to chop down that tree. I can it's a maybe a uh, four foot tree by uh, 20 feet. We're still too close to it. Are we near the river? No, I don't need that. You are uh, about 100 feet from the river, yeah. Oh, okay. Is so this the river where we found I will walk around it? most of the night to find enough firewood. We're going to, but we are, we, are, we are going I'm hours away before, before we... Get yes, we're going three hours away from the rain, following the river. There will be more vegetation there. Again, so I, I will walk around there. most of the night to find enough firewood. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't cut down any trees. But we will find, we will look for vegetation we'll the wood as we go. there. Uh, grab the wood as you go, yeah, good idea. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I'm, I'm glad you're here to think. Yeah, and so are So, Wait, aren't you back to Karen? I'll say after. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you get, start to walk your trek back as you gather and find wood at the same time. Slows your uh, weight back a little bit as you have to stop continuously to get firewood. And you're not the fastest person on the planet. I have to catch up with the Yeah. And it is now nightfall. You're nowhere near near close to civilization yet. But we're, further, we're, we're, we're sitting up camp. We're setting up camp for a long rest. Very well. Let's set up watches and set up camp. Uh, Plenty of firewood to start a basic fire. As you guys make camp, bundle up for sleep, the two survivors, and uh, not knowing what happened to the ones with the boats and the other individual of the coin brew, is there anything you wish to do? Did you come back a few hours later with some firewood? Uh, who can see in the dark other than me? Maybe. All right. Well, you have, you have light. Yes, but I can also not see. Not seeing in the dark. You, How can you, you can see, see in the dark? dark? Oh wait, I might be getting confused with my other character. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> You're gonna have you to uh, see the episode. You don't mm-hmm. even know what's going on. Oh, I know. Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just making sure. All right. Side. You can mm-hmm. see in the dark, Derek. No. Oh. No, us three. Getting a sizable amount. Sorry, us three. So I, miss, I misspoke, yes. Make a general survival check, as this is going into nature and trying to get something out of it. Survival? Yes. Okay, I'm not terrible, but it actually is I am. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> terrible at it. I'm very terrible. Okay, so that, that's an 11, which makes that a 9. 9? Okay. <gasps> so, you're out the entire night. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I don't get exhausted. and I'm no, not to worry about health points right now. But we have basic uh, You are right? having a bit of trouble because you're lacking one thing mm. out of the two. Mm. One of the two things that we talked about. Mm. 
Who's keeping watch? I'll take first watch. Okay. As you guys get ready for the night, as you hear the thunderous cracks in the distance, but grateful that you're not being pelted to death by just constant rain. Try for water out. Out. We're unwaterlogged. Mm-hmm. We're unwaterlogged right now. That's Sleep takes you. And we're gonna take a break here, boys and girls. We'll see you uh, in a moment. Uh, as we continue this adventure and as we return to civilization uh, after a few other things. But until next time, uh, thank you for taking this uh, roller coaster. Literally. Literally. Roller co- literally, roller coaster <laughs> yeah. literally, literally roller coaster there at the end. Uh, monstrosity, even though he's a celestial, it is weird. Celestial monstrosity? Celestial monstrosity. It's, like he's so it. alien, but he, he's still organic in nature. So he's considered monstrosity, even though he comes from celestial backgrounds. Anyway, so, till next time, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the ride just as much as we have. And we'll see you next time on Together We Roll. Till next time. Bye. 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 I say till next time way too often. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one next time. <laughs>